Listen, if I get DMCA'd for one minute of goats during the Game of Thrones theme, then... then no, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Dance. Tina tot zijn gift aan die is op toe als een simpele lap. Die haar voor die van de twee. No, no, Peppa Sweaty Face. Dance. Dance.
Good morning everyone, how you guys doing? Early on time, yeah I had to be early because uh, someone someone did the, the finished the vote already when I started speaking. So <laughs> anyway, let me get my chat on screen so I can see what you guys are saying. Ladies and gentlemen, I no longer have a stuffy nose. Well, a little bit, but not as much as yesterday. Voice is still a little screwed, but other than that, I should not be sneezing the whole time. Is this the new patch? Yes, and this is also the updated patch. So yesterday we played with the pre-release version, and today we're playing with the latest version, the version that you are playing with. And some streamer, thank you. Nose is unstuffed, no stuff removed, yeah. I just woke up this morning and uh, nose is kinda okay, so. Your voice is still sexy, thank you. Are we gonna get the event today? Yes. But in a different way. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe, but in a slightly different way. The Sinner event? Nah, different event. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, why hello there, welcome back to Gotland EU4. Yes. We're gonna have a second attempt today, because yesterday we got our ass handed to us. And we got our ass handed to us because we we deviated from the path that we set out for ourselves. We, we deviated off course. So today we're going to focus fully on getting to the Caribbean before Portugal does. Which should be possible. And we should be able to colonize all of that. So, we are going to say Eric is nobody's king. At best, he's the mayor of Gotland. Yes. And then we're going to say, life is too short to waste it with trading, we're going Pirate Republic. Boom. Now, like yesterday, the first thing we're going to have to do is build some units. And we're also going to be getting rid of this fourth. Now, let's go use a beautiful raiding map mode and raid away. And actually, did I already lose my estates? Because there's a little trick you can do. No, I didn't. So there's actually a little trick you can do. You can sell your crown land. Because uh, for a one day you will have access to your estates before you lose them. So I'm going to give him a Monopolopium Wool. I'm going to uh, give the clergy land rights. And we're also going to go do the nobility land rights. And we're also going to go do this. Primacy of the nobility. And now when we sell we get 66 dockets because the amount you get is based on your crown land. And we are also going to go right on ahead and do... Patrons of the Arts. There you go, it seems good. Right, and now we're going to lose all that, so... If you get an eye roll in your first fight, you get my student prime self. Okay. Burger loans? Uh, no. No, I don't want loans. I don't think... Are you going for the One Piece achievement? Oh, we could. We could. Would you like me to? The One Piece achievement is ensure that no colonized province in the world produces slaves whilst having the war against the world doctrine government reform enabled. Uh, I mostly want to finish the Got Gutnish mission tree, but we'll see. No balls? Uh, certainly we're going to be playing with no allies. I don't think we'll be playing with no balls. Just because of the way this achievement works, so. Uh, do we have a morale of navies guy? We don't, and I really need one. A lot of safe provinces in Central Africa, though. Yeah, I'm sure, but... <laughs> There's many more things that we need to do. Uh, crunchy Tortilla, thank you so much for four months in a row. Tip matters to you, so take my lunch money, thank you. What do you mean, no allies? No, can't ally other pirate... Yeah, I can't no, ally all the pirate nations. Hello, Flory. I'm French and new here. Sorry for my English. I want to ask you, bro, about a thing. I found a technic for... Droop? A thousand units by a thousand units. Have you a technique for droop much more? Because it's so long. A thousand by a thousand. Uh, are you talking about a million units? Does he have a str He said his English was bad. I don't know if he's... He, if that's a troll, or if he's being genuine. <laughs> so, I think he's talking about a thousand units. A million guys. I'm, I'm just gonna say that. Mayor of Turkey, sub to you, what the fuck? 
really. Well, it is. It is the biggest demographic group in my chat, so there you go. It's uh, it's always either German or Turkish is the top group. I think he means the splitting. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, they say a thousand by that. See, that's what I thought too. Yeah. Boy, getting a million units. I think getting a one million stack, the most important thing that you need to do is get attrition reductions. Um, so you only suffer 1% attrition. So you'll want to get max attrition reduction with defensive and humanist. So that's already 50, and then go Exploration and Quality for another 25, and then you can finish it off with Quantity. So get uh, Quality, Quantity, Defensive, Exploration, and Humanist. And that's the million, million stack setup for me, so. Uh, okay, uh, let's go and... And wait around a little bit. Okay, we're fine. I'm gonna tell these guys to go protect trade in the Baltic. Uh, but do stay home during war, please. We don't have to pay for the army because if he lands, we're dead anyway. And we're gonna be building up a spy network on him. Now, last time it took him 12 months to declare the war. So we'll see. Delete the expensive cav. Uh, yes. Sure, I'll do that. But I will build up to, uh... Nine units of normal troops here. Gonna take burger loans? No, I don't have burger loans. Oh, I wonder if this will screw over my um, my crown land. The little trick I did at the start. That might not be the way to go. Cause it might remember. It's gonna remember, I think. Uh, War Dragon 007, thank you for something for 51 months of romantic tip. That is you I think it's gonna remember. Will you kill Billy this run? We always kill Billy. Billy never survives. It doesn't remember. I think it'll remember some things. I think it'll remember my crown land setup. But we'll see. Yeah, if you're just starting to play uh, EU4, like if you start, let's say you start today, yeah, then I highly recommend you get the subscription system because it is ace. Okay, it's great value. You would have to play the game for longer than you'd have to play the game for another eight and a half years for the subscription system to be more expensive than getting all the DLCs. So, recommend getting the subscription. Uh, it's different if you already have like 90% of the DLC, right? Then it's different. Like, if, if you already have like most of the DLC, then, then it's different. But if, if you're right now just starting out like today, you're like, hey, I wanna try EU4, I'm gonna start playing it. I highly recommend getting a subscription. Because it's literally 8 years of value. And uh, honestly, I think by that time EU5 will be... Uh, will be out, so... You know. Holy shit, how much the DLC cost? So a lot of that price is because of... Uh, unit packs and small little extras. There's so many extras, right? There's... Boy oh boy. And if you add all of those, I think it's like, and then not on sale, I think it's like 500 euros. For everything. Yeah, and there, uh, there, stuff is on sale a lot for like 50% or something like that. But if you get everything full price, then it's like... It's a lot of DLC. Yeah, and uh, keep in mind, so, I, I think that cost is... I mean, look at my hours played. The people don't like that argument, but I like that argument. I think it makes total sense. But that's just me. But I, I know that I'm, I might be a little weird on that. So we build up to 10k, that's good. 
Um, I'm gonna leave it that way. Actually losing money now, and we're gonna start building galleys now. <laughs> he was even faster than before! He's even faster than before! Not even, like, within 13 months, dude. Crazy. Alright, so we know that we have to develop. No, I'm not gonna fight. I'm not gonna fight until Renaissance happens. But I would like to save my boats here. Don't sink yet. Don't sink them, you stupid. You silly belly. You silly goose. You silly goat, as you might say. Alright, let's uh, try and sneak out of here. There you go. We're alive. Um, we got the Buccaneers in power, that's fine, because I'm not going to be fighting a naval battle just yet. We also don't need to pay for our army. It's not really necessary. And do I already need to get the free company now? Uh, I think so. Yeah, we'll go get the... Interesting. Now, how much is that going to screw my economy with? Three dockets a month, but it's necessary. So, who wants this leader? The problem is he's Swiss. I can't reach Swiss, so I can't hire him, guys. Viking... How many points do you have? Viking Nephilim, let's get... Let's get you a leader. Oh, wow, you're pretty good. I would like to scorch my land. And he's gonna arrive on the 1st of June, so we, we can we can wait a little bit with paying for our army. Let's go do it. And we are gonna need to merge some of our stuff together, because this is, this is definitely too many guys. We'll do that after the battle. Maybe we need to talk about the general Adeem system in general. I think in general, no. Alright, let's go get another galley. I will fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the sea. I need a morale of navies, guy. <laughs> Until, in God's good time, the new world, with all its power and might, step forth to the rescue and the liberation of the old. We have our morale of navies, guy. I'm not going to hire him yet, because I don't need to. Would I like to get a mill guy? I don't think we need that either. 2nd of June, he's going to arrive, and we should be able to kick him off our island. Let's see, because he does get the negative 2 penalty. Uh, that guy that was talking about the, um, the, the prime sub, right? I, I'm assuming you went, you wanted to look at naval combat. <laughs> we have to rob this man of his money. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's uh, stop paying for this. Okay, now we're only losing a duck in a month. Is the music too loud? Is it? Is the music too loud, ladies and gentlemen? No stack whip? No, it's not a stack whip because we didn't kill it fast enough. It's not? Okay. Music is perfect. Fantastic. Well, let's go speed 5. I think if I pay for my units, he won't decide to land. But that is not really worth it, is it? No, I don't think that's worth it. Oh god! Oh god! In come the Swedes. Oh, oh boy, we might be dead. Okay, we got a discipline guy. And he, he ran? What? Okay, well, whatever. That's, that's a real... Troll Kirka moment. 7th of May. Okay, the galley is going to be finished on the 15th of February, so we can hire another Merc company. Or get an extra unit or five. Because there will be another battle here. Okay. My god, 15,000. He's actually landing with everything. What?
What did I, what did I miss? Uh, I don't know. Alright, let's see here. Uh, so he's gonna land on the 15th of May. This unit that we built here isn't gonna be done until when? I can't read it because the, my chat's in the way. 12th of May. Okay, so it won't finish on time. Uh, will the fins finish on time? 5th of April. We'll have to get these, unfortunately. It's a load of money, but I don't think we'll win otherwise. And we'll get one more month tick here. He missed it? Wait, what did I what did I miss? Viking Nephilim, thank you for gifting a sub to Dima! Tip my to you, sir! Shifty Blue, thank you for some months in a row, man. Tip better to you, sir. There you go, I missed it. <laughs> More subs missed than the Royal Navy in World War II. That was such a freaking good joke yesterday, my god. The tyranny? No, there's no tyranny. What are you talking about? Okay, here we go. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. I cut the video, cut the vi- Well then, Arctic Reloaded, thank you for giving the sub. Tip me out of to you, sir. That is indeed 4044 because uh, I'm dead. Let's see if this little exploit still works. No, it doesn't. It does not. Well, let's just exit the menu like this then. <laughs> I did warn you about that. Bob Saya, thank you for some seven months in a row. Tip me out of to you, sir. 0-9 into 1-9. Yeah, I think I got unlucky with rolls there, for sure. It's because you didn't do all my generals yesterday. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Shoot. Alright, let's go try this again, then. Danes are winning on another universe. God darn it, I can't believe they actually won that. Eric is nobody's king, at least at best he's the mayor of Gotland. There you go, and then don't waste it with trading. Now, before we do anything, I'm only gonna sell this time because I'm afraid that if I really screw over my crowdland, it's gonna screw things up, yeah? Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have given land, but only to the nobility, because the nobility is gonna lose all their shit. You could have done that, okay. Um, yeah. Seems fine. Uh, I'm also not gonna get rid of my horse this time, because I... Got a severe lack of everything, so. Let's go build up to 8,000 units and try and set ourselves up here. Now, you can't realistically fight the Danish Navy until you get Privateer's Wave. There's just no. Oh, yeah, we can do the Monopoplop Wave, actually. That's fine. Where is it? Yeah, we can do that one. And up the speed here. Also, focus is going on admin. And our spy network is going on Denmark. Can you imagine if that had happened yet? Oh, my uh, admiral's really good. What we could also try and do is try to ambush the Swedish Navy as the game starts. Then we might be able to capture some bolts or two. Yeah, off to a great start here. Okay. Maybe I can get an ally? No. I mean, I could get an ally until we have the privateers. Wait, once you have it, it'll break the alliance, but... Game is punishing you for level 1 estates. Yeah, well... I deserve to be punished. Let's try and do that. Let's try and ambush the Swedish Navy. Okay, it's important. But there's one bark over here that I guess I can steal. It's not exactly what I want. What about the Danish Navy? Where are you at? Yeah, it's not like he's out and about. Okay. So I'll build another two units, because... The problem is, if he does land with 15, I mean, no, dude, we just got unlucky. 
We just got a lucky. Raids, everyone. Nobody wants to be my ally. I can only raid inside this area. There's people outside that I might be able to ally, like Death Marchant. Or any of Denmark's rivals, like Poland. I haven't raided Poland. Poland doesn't have a coast. We are natural allies with Poland, okay? Right, let's go get that galley. Okay, but he hasn't doubted me yet, so I think we're off to a great start. Because every day he doesn't doubt is a day we inch closer to the right thing. And I can grab that. And my captain is strict. Is he also good at... No, he's an absolutely terrible admiral. He's got minimum pips. You want to try joining the HRE or... Oh yeah, no, that's a fair point. You might want to do that. I, the reason why I might want to do that is because I can kick myself out of the HRE. But while some part of it, I'll be able to fight Lubeck. Which we have a CB on. So that's actually really sexy and also will be protected whilst we migrate into the new world. So... And there's the Reconquest CB. Uh, so this boat is already finished. I'm gonna pay for my army this time around. And we'll get our leader. Who wants it? Pralty. Okay. Uh, let's scorch the earth and see what happens. Because we might need to get ourselves... A yeah. Let's go get that free company. The Finnish company is really good, but they're very expensive. He might stop. Yeah, he's gonna stop. There you go. So we can stop paying for our army again. That's fine. Did you apologize to the Danes for calling them Swedish? No, it's rightful Swedish clay. And the reason why I'm doing that is roleplay, because apparently I'm Swedish culture, so fuck them. Right, we can pay for our army again? He's locked? Crazy! Huh. But I wonder where the Danish Navy is. Maybe we can try fighting this. No, 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 no. Calm tits. We cannot fight until later. Until 1450. I need 1450 so I can... Jesus! Swedes know how to fight, my god. And they're coming in again! Because the Navy just literally left them behind! You just fucked off back to Stockholm! Unbelievable! The betrayal! How could you leave these men behind like this? Us pirates would never do that. No scallywag left behind. That is... wow. Now I'll take the free wipe. And it's not a wipe though. No, it is. Yeah. Oh god, no. Okay, so... <laughs> 22nd of October, huh? Okay. We're gonna need the fins. We're gonna need the fins. There's no way we'll finish on time. Is it no lambs? No, no, it's not no lambs. Okay, that makes him stop. That's very interesting. It's kind of shit though, because now I'm way over the force limit. I think I'll get rid of the free company now then. And now we're sitting at 12. Okay. That will have to do. And I need my galleys, man. But the th the problem is I can't fight until 1450. That's the thing. <laughs> Maybe the idea is get less troops so he feels like he can land with like 2k. Manaheim is leading the Finns for me. Oh my god, he is! <laughs> what the hell? Uh, no, I'll gain the dip. That's fine. Two years, ladies and gentlemen, until my pirates get a super buff. 
Two years. That's all we gotta hold out for. Two years. And I need a morale of navies, guy. Okay, here they come again. We gotta go pay for them. Okay, there's my navy reformer. At least we got him quite early. And he stops landing. Perfect. I'm losing five dockets a month, though. So expensive, this. I should really just... You know what? I can't wait for Renaissance. I'm gonna dev now. We'll get it by just growing the capital. I gotta dev. Okay. And we're getting the free oarsman. I had to dev there. There is no other way. Because now I'm gonna lose a lot less money because I upgraded my... Um, my force limit, yeah? How am I feeling today? A little bit better than yesterday, but... Yeah, it says bankruptcy looming, but that's lying. It's saying that because, um... Why is it saying that? It's saying that because it counts the money I spent on the thing. On the thing. Okay, we got our admin guy again, and he's greedy this time. But what's he like as an admiral? Hello? No, that's not the right one. Oh, he's even worse! Well, so far RNG is nothing on our side. Are the captains in charge? They are not. Are you actually gonna land on this? No. It seems like 12k is the magic number. 13 is the magic number. Okay. So, if we do d again die, I'm gonna get 13,000 normal units. So I don't have to pay for those mercenaries. Yeah, because the mercenaries are the, <coughs> are the thing making this really expensive. Well, actually, it's mostly being over the force on it. In fact, it will probably pay off for my... No, not because... He's costing four ducats a month. But it will probably pay, pay back for itself to get the force on the guy. And we're gonna keep deving. Because we're going into debt now, so... Okay. Let's go get myself another galley. Oh, no. Nose is getting stuffy again. One sec. Damn, are giving me a running nose. Right, here he comes again. Not, I don't want to risk fighting that because he might win. Wait, what? He's coming whilst I'm paying for them? No, 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 you're not. You're crazy. Stop it. Oh my god, he's coming. Oh. Uh, uh. Oh no. Oh no. So apparently 13,000 is not enough, guys. How come How come we kicked so much ass last time? I mean, he's still dying on the sea, so before he... Okay, here we go. I'm getting really shafted with rolls here again. I'm gonna lose. Okay, what, what did he roll? 99998? Come on! 9989! Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, but come on! <laughs> Alright, that's okay though. That's okay. We can 4044. It's fine. Because, you know, I wanted to use non mercs anyway. Doubt your based economy. I mean, we did this in the first attempt yesterday. <laughs> What did we change? Nothing. Nothing. We changed nothing. 
But I think we should dev right from the start. That's the thing that we should do. You were lucky? No, I wasn't lucky. I got unlucky in this one. That's the problem. Okay, I thought about it a little bit, I did some thinking, and I know what to do now. So, first order of business. This is my guide to Gotland now. Do primacy of the nobility. Don't give stuff to the clergy or the quartermasters, because you're going to get them back later. But we're never going to have nobility. And so I'm giving this land away, so I increase the share of the nobility, but I'm going to inherit the share later. The only thing I'm going to not have is this. Yeah, and then we can sell. And because it remembers everything, we can now seize. Yeah, that's completely fine. Yeah. Okay, but we're going to lose that in just a sec because we've got factions instead. Would expanding infrastructure save you money? Yes, but it would also screw me, so I'd have to revoke it later. But I think we should, yeah. Let's expand infrastructure because they buff that crazy amount. But first, we'll need to get to 15 development. Okay, and we're gonna do some raiding. I also didn't have a lot of time to build boats, so... Yeah, kind of crazy. Okay. Uh, I can stop the speed for this. Uh, I do need to build units, though. Oh, and our focus still needs to be on Atman, because I do still want to go to the New World ASAP. Raid Riga? I'm not raiding Riga? Oh, th thank you. Nice. Money. Hey, okay. Back into port. Can you join the HRE before the decoration? No way. I can't even at myself. I'm not bordering the HRE yet. I'd have to move my capital to Shailan for that. Which I'm not sure if I want to do. Also, these guys can go protect trade in the Baltic, but stay home during war. We don't have to pay for our army, for sure. And there's my naval doctrine, which is obviously going to go on Gallic common ability. Now, how many... There you go, and there's our reconquest. Also, I don't want this fourth. So... Finding that little naval battle over there. Can we run? And do we have a morale of navies guy? We do. Do I also have a combat dude? Um, so, in an effort, we could get the discipline guy or we can get the force limit guy. And I think the force limit guy would pay back for himself. So, let's do this and then we can expand infrastructure. Yeah? Yeah. Wait, we captured a boat? Sick. Uh, don't go that way. 
go. I said don't go that- No! No! Demek is going into the order soon, so we can actually fight this. Yeah, because Demerick's not here. Well, now he reinforces. But it's too little too late. I already captured the boat. And we can run away. Yar! Okay, let's go. Perfect. I don't have enough admin for a leader. Keep recruiting? Yes. And here he comes with the 12k. Uh, he's going to arrive... On the 30th of October, so we've got plenty of time to finish this unit and get a Merc company. Okay, do we expand infrastructure? We pretty much have to, but look at this golf cost. It's actually not that bad. Yeah, actually it only adds 10%, but we're already paying 75, so it doesn't make that big of a difference, honestly. No, it does not. Okay. So now we got 25% death cost here, so that's really good, actually. Yeah, it's not multiplicative, but it, because it adds a flat 15 as well, that then it that becomes kind of ass. But I think it'll save me so many monarch points that I should be grabbing that. Uh, we can't hire the free Swiss guard, unfortunately, because look at how good they are. Uh, we'll just go get this guy. Wait. That is a very weak navy. He doesn't have a leader. Should we just fight it? Shit, I don't have enough mill. Oh god, and now I won't have enough mill to get a leader. Shit. Well, so now I have to pretty much go. Well, it won't arrive until the 30th of October. Okay, and we rolled an 8, so we got lots more nave morale than he does. Swedes are reinforcing. So now they do finally have a leader. This is me, right? Yeah, this is me. I'm the left side. Okay, they reinforced with more boats, but the only thing I see sinking is the Gulanth. And now I see three of them sinking. Prince Karl disengaged. Now I see Sank Maria is on 61, but I've just rolled a 9. I wanna... Okay, let's, let's bail. We sank one boat. I sank one boat. And he's going to arrive on the 13th of November. I think I'm going to have to let that go. Or we try and fight again, but I don't think we should. No. Yeah, I don't have time to get a leader. But even if I could get a leader, it'd probably be crap anyway. Oh my god. Are you kidding me?! <laughs> How did this happen? Oh, goodness. It was easier yesterday because the streamer client is easier than that. That's a load of crap. That's a load of crap. <laughs> but this is fun, though. I'm enjoying myself. Alright. Um. Well, let's have a little think then. I think we should definitely at least have a leader. Okay. So, again. Privacy of the nobility, sell, focus, admin. Uh, we're gonna dev. But let, let's not use mill so we at least have 50. I mean, I can use one mill, that's fine. Yeah, and we're gonna go do some baby.
Also, we need to get rid of that fourth. And we need units. Can I turn my ruler into a general before I become a pirate, then get it? Uh, oof. I don't know, actually. Maybe. Glad to know. <laughs> See a new streamer from time to time. <laughs> Missing Riga again? Oh, shoot. Wait, what music is this? No, I don't want beautiful Egyptian music. Not the pirate music. Suddenly got some, uh, some sand, some sand flashbacks there. Why not? Because we're not playing in Egypt. <laughs> you know, you, you know what I got yesterday? Yesterday I got a morale of armies guy. Maybe that that was the difference. And we do have one available. So. Might have to end up using that. Alright, like I said, we don't have to pay for our army. And I could get these guys to go protect trade, it's fine. What kind of leader are you? Okay, you're pretty balanced, but you're gonna die soon, because he's like 63 years old, so. Alright. Uh, let's go get a marine. No. So I have that already set up. And I guess not a normal unit? And I will hire a free company during the war. It's gonna be ridiculously expensive, but I don't... Fe I feel like I don't have another choice. Hey! There's my... Galley common ability. And give me galleys. I hope that guy will finish. If you keep the four, don't you get free units without being over four cement? No, because I can't... If I let him land, I'm dead anyway, and I can't sally forth until they've landed. So unless I've got like ten transport ships and I can park them over here in the eastern Baltic and then do a naval invasion on my own island, I will never be able to use those units. First attempt, there were ten percent that night. Seventy percent? You guys are crazy. Alright, who wants to have a leader? Pussy. Wow. That's absolute dog shit. Is that minimum pips? No. I'm gonna get one more. Why not start by building 15 units? Because you cannot afford that. Okay. So we've got a half decent guy. Uh, we can also expand the infrastructure more. And I'm assuming the galley is going to finish on time. Okay, I, I'm going to need to save these somehow. Okay. So we got ourselves some extra movement speed. Here come the Danes. Um, I might actually be able to fight that for like a day. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go fight that. Real quick. Because it's got no leader. Might be able to do some damage here. Alright, two of my guys have disengaged. And he's already reinforcing, so I got a bail. I didn't do a lot of damage there, in fact we killed nothing, but... I had to go try something, yeah? I'm actually gonna keep paying for my unit, so he might not la- okay, never mind. Uh, let's make sure it's scorched. Yeah, I could get the fins, I mean they're- they're really good, but they're far too expensive, so we have to pretty much get the free company. And I think he's gonna leave? I don't think he's gonna keep going with us. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep building galleys now. 
No, he's actually gonna land. Huh. Okay. I can't tell what kind of leader he's using. But I mean, I've got way more units than he does. Then again, we're not at full morale, so... But there's no way he's gonna win that though, right? There's absolutely no way. What's my navy tradition at this point? Yeah, I'm not gonna get anything special here. I'm actually gonna fight him on the 26th of um, September, so I can give myself another repair tick. Yeah, so I move out now, uh, and then the free company is gonna get another morale tick from uh, from the month. And we'll see, because I'm doing a lot of damage here. This is good. If the Danes don't arrive soon... Okay, there's the Danes. But I'm gonna sink the Maria. What? It was at zero. Did it just gain morale? Or did it die? I think it died. Where's the Maria? Yeah, I don't see the Maria. It died. I think I captured it. I think that's what happened. Well, we're sinking ships right now, so I'm gonna keep moving. Until we're, we have to retreat. Still don't see anything on red. Tigar is being sunk. Alright, Tigar's done and one of my boats is on low, so we gotta retreat. Right? But I sank two galleys, so I'm gonna call that a win. And he leaves! He straight up leaves again! Okay, we can stop paying for our army. Okay, we can't catch that guy. But look at the amount of money you're losing. I'm losing, like, crazy amounts right now. So I did expand infrastructure. We can keep devving. You know that you can see the captured ships... Oh, can you see their names in the thing? I, I know you can see the captured ships, but... Can you see the names of the ships you've captured? I don't think you can. It could have been a different ship. Wait, he's landing on us again? It's time to pay for our troops. Wait, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let him get locked. No, no, no. Don't let him get locked. It, it takes such a long time for him to land anyway. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, but he still just lead. That's so late. That's so lame. That is really lame. But I've got another galley finishing up. We have our galley coming ability, and we've got a morale of navies now. So I'm going to actually, actually try fighting that. Once the ship is fully repaired, which is going to take some time. Okay. But ideally, you fight in 1450. That's the thing. I, I'm going to get rid of this thing because it's far too expensive. There's no way I can keep that up. He's just straight up blockading me. It's fine. I can also just delete the free company because I can always rehire them. So we still haven't fought a battle, so they're still free. And now I don't have to pay the four dockets a month. Right, he's coming in April, but I'm going to try fighting the Navy. Because when are you done? 23rd of January, yeah. So I'm going to fight him in... Um, I don't know, February or something? Wait, actually then cancel that. Because I might win the Naval Battle here. Okay, let's see. 9-0! Yeah, the Swedes come in, but we already kicked their ass. Like, I'm not too worried about that. How are my boats doing? Boats holding st- Ah, there's a zero roll. That's not good. Okay, six. Six to four. It's another boat dead. Two of my boats have disengaged. Good. Okay, sank another one. Look at all the red on his side. Okay, now two of my boats are red. Now my boats are worth more than his. But... Okay, mommy, you're right. We still have two months. I'm gonna... I, I'm gonna have to let him land, I think. Check to capture tooltip. Yeah, it doesn't say the name, so th that, that was pointless. Um...
You know, the, you know what the thing is? The Norwegian Navy is not in this. So if I go full ham on this, I might end up losing. Are any of his ships like close to sinking? Yeah, I want to try and sink in the Gronland. So we'll see if he's... Okay, I shouldn't have tried that. But we sank three galleys though, so I'm going to call that a big fat win. Any retreats. So we can again cancel this guy. So we can just repair our navy now. And can I build another one? Yeah, here come the Swedes. Uh, one of my boats is not going to be repaired on time to fight this. Okay, and he leaves. Okay. This is good. Let's not pay for the army now. How is the week, uh, weakest boat? It's the Digdom. You're gonna arrive in December. This galley's gonna finish in October. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, also we can dev more? Which I will do, because, uh... The more I dev, the more, less money I'm gonna lose from being over force limit. He's still gonna arrive in December, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna fight in uh, November. Alright, no, we're gonna fight in December, actually. Wait, do we keep Eric? He's a pretty decent admiral, but he's 66 years old. Uh, I've got the captains in power, so he should get the plus one fire, this next pirate. Wow. Okay. Well, he's got one more fire pip, that's pretty much it. Hey, captain's back in power. And we will want to pay for our army now, because I might not be able to spook him off. Oh, 0 to 8 roll, no. That's not what I was looking for at all. Alright, let's see. But, I mean, I'm thinking, like, a lot of his boats are still damaged. He didn't repair them. That's two of them sunk already. And we got the Nasco sinking now. Good. These rolls are absolute dog shit, by the way. Okay, that's good. Got another two boats sinking. Calmer is dying. Um. Slight problem, though. If I don't hire a merc company now, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna have to hire the Finns, because they're not gonna finish on time otherwise. Hey, they're not gonna have the morale back. Come on, Calmer, hold! Captured another couple of boats. I'm gonna sacrifice the Kalmar, dude. I'm gonna sacrifice the Kalmar because I'm I might win. Are the Norwegians coming? No. Can I get some 07s in chat for the Kalmar? They gave their lives all the way to 0%. They fought to the death. Dude, he only has seven galleys fighting and one heavy ship. But... Captured four bolts. Oh my god, look at this. Is so close. Clench the butt cheeks, ladies and gentlemen. Clench it. It sank another boat, but my boats are getting really low. Oh, I don't know what to do. He rolled an eight. Zero to seven. No. Clear whitey. Thank you for the raid. Tip matter to you, sir. Ah. 
Oh, that can I mean, I've got more morale, but... This is so close! I don't think I've had a closer naval battle than this. And they wanted it. Oh, no, no, no. It's a zero roll, though. Hey, we'll hold him steady. I'm gonna keep going till the next roll. It might be a nine for me. It's a two. It's a two. Oh, no. But if I win, oh my god, just do a little bit more damage. Just roll a nine on the next one. Come on, I know you can do it. It's inside of you. You have to believe Bjorn Sandals. Bjorn Sandals, you gotta believe. I rolled a one, okay. That's, that's less than stellar. There's a six. I lost another bolt. I, I just got a big hit, you see that? Uh, he outmorales me now. I'll let it go for one more day and then we'll see what happens. Okay, big hit. He got one fighting galley left. He's got one fighting galley left. 0.46 to 0.51. Come on! Come on! Yes! Big hits! Yeah! <laughs> We did it! We did it! Arr. Eleven ships! And they! I'm, I'm not making this. How exciting was this naval battle, okay? Naval battles are perfect! They don't need any change whatsoever! This was null biting, okay? Ho ho! Oh my god! Oh my god! I am shaking! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, great, we won! <laughs> and we did it without this... We did it without the privateers away! I want this... I want this marked in the history of our nation! I hired the Finns for the lull. I hired the Finns because they didn't want to die. Okay, now, we sank some transport ships there, I know that. We've got six. Maybe they're in Bornal, but maybe we, we can kill them. Okay, I fucked up. I threw just now, because I forgot about the Iron Fleet there. <laughs> forgot about the Norwegians. But, I mean, we're not that damaged, are we? Kind of. He might sink some galleys and then. Flurry, dot, 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 dot. Hey, hey. You have heard of me. I am not the worst pirate you've ever seen. Yeah, night. Oh, now now we roll nines. Mm -hmm. In the non-consequential day of the battle. I'm gonna try sinking this. Fuck it. Am I really? Because a lot of my ships are damaged. I don't want to lose my galleys. 
But I could try, try capturing some heavies here. But we're going to lose the Hans Peter and the David. But we don't have to worry about the rest of the navies reinforcing. So we're, we might lose the Hans Peter, but he's not even Swedish. So bye bye, Hans Peter. Okay, no, I shouldn't have done that. I should have saved Hans. No, we're still Vin. We're still Vin. Yeah. Hey, right, let's. Stiff upper lip. Stiff upper lip. Stiff! Hold! I didn't sink a single heavy. That is very un I didn't capture a single heavy. I only captured cogs. That is very unfortunate. That is incredibly unfortunate. Yeah, real sad. Yeah, it's okay though. Because I sank so many galleys that we have secured ourselves a naval supremacy, so. Five galleys lost. Yeah, but we did also get a lot of war score from that, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Five galleys lost, but. I think it was a worthy sacrifice. I know there's 12k in Bornholm, there's nothing I can really do about it. Because I can't land on it. I've got 9k uh, troops, so I can't land on 12. How many ships have the Danes lost? Uh, the Danes have lost 12 ships so far, and we need to sink another 8. We don't need to pay for our army for now. And that means that we're actually only losing one duck in a month. I could be making money if I started blockading Denmark now, but I want my navy repaired before then. Is the time for Marines to MVP? We will be using Marines in this war, yes, but first we need total naval superiority. Landing on Bornholm is not going to be possible. They've got too many guys. Okay, here we go. The Privateer's Way. There's no place for us among the lawful states. They do not trust us, and we have little reason to trust them. At the end of the day, only a fellow cutthroat is the companion we can have around us. So this got, all of this got slashed in half. From yesterday but it's still still really strong and we don't like to play with allies I mean it was 20% morale of it turns you into France if you weren't memeing like if you weren't go so I, I feel like as a pirate you have to play Mimi right you're going to roleplay, and you're going to be a scallywag, and raid, and plunder, and steal. You're not going to go for a world conquest, right? But if you were going to, like, not mean, then this was way overpowered. Like, if you were going to just get at my ideas, conquer Britain, and then just go full... No. No, super powerful. Definitely. But honestly, what I think, instead of the morale of armies, maybe, it should get... War exhaustion reduction. Because you're effectively declaring war on the world with this, right? So, if you're declaring that you're always going to be fighting everyone, shouldn't the population be more okay with constant war? And the problem with having no allies is that you constantly get declared upon. So maybe, maybe it should give war exhaustion reduction. That'd be, that'd be cool. One faith? Yeah, we're going to do a Norse one faith, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, he did land outside of Bornholm. If I fight in Shayland, he's gonna kick in my ass. He's gonna kick in my ass if I fight him there because he has that one there. Hey, right, we fight. But I've got all my bonuses right now, so... Little does he know, I'm gonna kick his ass. Here we go. Ooh. These uh, Norwegian heavy ships are such a pain in the dick, and they keep not sinking them. Okay, here come the Swedes. Need to keep an eye on my... This is me, right? Okay. Sankt Peter is dying. I don't care about my barns. Okay, we rolled a 9. Digden is dying. Digden's dying. But I rolled a 9. Just live. Okay, he still lives. Ah, shit. Yeah, one of his... I'm not gonna debate with you. So I sank one galley. I think that's good enough. Digging the hats! Darn! Thank you. 
I, I'm trying to capture you back. Uh, well, I'm not trying to capture you back. I haven't had you in this campaign yet. But I, I, I do want a heavy ship at one point. Okay. Seems like Norway's ready to donate one to me. Let's go. Let's go steal it. Let's leave these guys behind because I feel like they're not helping in, in any case. Okay, and the Swedes come in. Okay. Where's the Danes? They're on their way. We gotta run. No, he sank another boat. That's illegal. I was winning. I was winning and then it was called off. Stop the count. These heavy ships are crushing me, dude. Yeah, lost another galley. I'm gonna need to rebuild it. Pretty soon we can raid again, though. So, And our economy is a lot better than last time because I don't need to fight the constant land battles. Did Renaissance happen yet? No. I bet you I'm winning for the next within the next eight years. So please win. Oh yeah, I'll win. Don't worry about that. Oh shit, I should have waited. Still no renaissance, it's kind of unfortunate. Okay. Now we're back up to 14 galleys. I think I'll build another one. But I kind of want to go out to play and uh, try and capture some boats, like make some plays. Maybe capture this little... Oh, uh, you want feedback on the... I think it's great, the nerf, but I think the privateer's way should have like some war exhaustion reduction. Because if you play with this, you will be in constant warfare uh, because once one person declares war on you, everyone will because you do not have allies to deter anyone. So I, I feel like maybe instead of the morale of armies, it should have like 0.5 war exhaustion reduction. But I think the nerf is good because it was it was way too crazy. It was absolutely insane. But uh, yeah, the war exhaustion reduction f uh, works perfectly with the playstyle. And you're effectively saying that you want to declare war on the world, right? So... Your people should be okay with constant warfare. I didn't capture it, that's so sad. Alright, the Swedes are here, we can go try and fight this now. 0.5? Yeah, 0.5 a month or something like that. Oh, yes. Oh, this is good. Oh, if he doesn't reinforce... I'm real tired of them being such wussies. I'm so scared of the Norwegians, man. The Norwegians scare... They, they scare me. Like, really hard. Alright, let's see. I kicked the Swedish ass, so they probably won't reinforce. Come on, come on, come on. Sink these heavies. These heavies are the only reason this war isn't over yet. So he reinforced? Are any of my boats dying? No? I'm steady. But I need you to sink that. Sink it. Sink it! Sink it! Come on, sink the valley. I don't care. Did you sink it? Are you kidding me? Did it actually disengage? No, I captured it. Oh, that means they're gonna take it back. Do I keep going, though? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely keep going. I'm gonna definitely keep going. Alright. Chat. I need some fingers crossed here. Cross them fingers. And some, some X's in chat. Instead of the Prages, because we don't believe. X! Cross the Prages! Give me my heavy ship! Give me my big boss!
My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Again, these... These Norwegian heavy ships are the bane of my existence, ladies and gentlemen. I can't beat them. I can't beat them. Oh, we got six light ships, though, so we can click this. Also, has Renaissance happened yet? Still no Renaissance, huh? Okay. Build your own heavy. Don't be silly, I'm a pirate. I don't build my own heavy ships. I build little, little shitty boats. Little, little galley asses. And they're gonna capture the boat for me. Music is very loud. Sad face. Oh, I'm sorry. It seemed to be as loud as the game, but... There you go, I changed it. Alright. But now it's in between songs, so now you're not gonna hear anything. Yeah, lose a proper definition, please. Okay, there's the... No, you're not running away. There we go. I got three galleys! Let's go! Now, I think I will occupy Bornholm now. No, wait, do I have a marine? I do. I want to fight the Danish Navy. The next time I fight the Danish Navy, which I'm going to lure over here. Is that a heavy ship? No. Come on, Danish Navy. Danish Navy. Get over here. I know you want to. Get over here. Why aren't, why aren't you trying to land? Let's repair mine. Is retreating for a month take then selling out still a viable trap staff? The, 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 the link is exclamation mark lions. How long till the next raid? Is retreating for the month tick and then... What? Sure. So we're 36 years old. I'm gonna keep him. Retreating for the month tick. And then sallying out. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Renaissance happened. Uh, let's go do this. So we got this up to 30. Will that just add another 25 death cost? Dude, that's crazy! But it, look at it already cost me 40. That's that's so much of my golf cap. I can't, I can't man. But are we making money now? Almost. And we're blockading him into submission now. Uh, we no longer need the galleys, right? No, we don't. Or, sorry, the barks. So I'm gonna get rid of these. Uh, I don't think we can also blockade this. I think that's a little too extreme. Maybe I can do this? Now I'm making money. Lost that war. Okay, I think we stabilized them. Yes. Good. How much am I getting from locating port? 1.5. Okay, good. Great. Yes. Alright, so now we need to figure out a way to trap uh, Denmark somehow. Will I go for Orkney in this war as well? No. Orkney is a total trap. I am not going for Orkney, okay? I don't want to fuck around in Great Britain. What I want is Hjaltland. Or we can delay the war until we grab 
um, Tech 5 and Atman. And this is what I did at ParallaxCon. I kept this war going until Tech 5, and then I grabbed Exploration 3, and then I just got Iceland, and I immediately went into the New World. And honestly, I mean, make, we're making money. So... Yeah. But we'll need to trap Denmark in, 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 in any case. So... We can, we can wait a little bit. Yeah, no, I'm staying at war with them until we get exploration. F fuck them. Screw the Danes. <sighs> Feels good to be Carson again. I kinda, I kinda went easy on that yesterday because sponsored stream and all that. Even though I know they don't really mind, but <laughs> still. <laughs> Penis! <laughs> Explicatives! Okay. Okay. Uh, let us... <laughs> Whoa! God. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really curse that much. Do I? Sometimes. Yeah. Compared to... I don't know. I don't curse that much. Is that why my England piece still look like a penis? Yeah, I had to compensate something. <laughs> I had to compensate for something. <laughs> Alright, uh, when can I raid again? Not yet. Almost. January 55. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, January? You really mean November, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go out, make our raids. Yeah. Oh god, what are you doing? Wait, let's not do this at speed 5, because this is kind of dangerous. Peace within 4 years, please. Oh, that's why you don't want me to wait? That's why you don't want me to wait? Because of your, your stupid bet? <laughs> no, I'm playing the most optimal today. We're not dicking around. So I just got a bunch of money, which means we can pay off the entire debt. And get myself a guy. People trying to rig the gamma by saying stuff like, hey, you should probably just do this one inefficient thing. Um, I need another Admiral. Who wants it? All three would have world conquested by now. In 11 years. Uh, Quinn Tuple West Mop. Does that exist? I know about quadruple, but does quintuple exist? Uh, Sir Guy Man, the, the, the beer master says, no, that does not exist. Right, let's try and see if we can't capture another boat here. I want to 
Yoink the fall. I want my big boss back. Give me my big boss. I captured something. Come on, sink it. What are you waiting for? He's at 0.0, .0 morale. Sink it! Sink it! Take him out! It disengaged. Are you kidding me? Well... Are you ready for the plays? Are you ready for the high plays? Watch this. What? You're not stopping me? What the hell? Look, I'm landing. What? Why aren't you stopping me? Shit. It's unfortunate. I... I needed him to follow me. But he's not doing that for some reason. So I guess we'll try landing the full army. Wait, 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 wait. Let's be as hype as we can. Okay, you turn on more text to see if it costs me mil points. Why, why would it not cost me mil points? Are you kidding me? Oh shit, okay, hold on, I gotta redo this. I want you to be on the one call, and I want you guys to be on the other ship. Yes. And then, we're going to go subtract these. I'm going to park you in Vesta Bolton. Get over here. Yeah, is Lockte going to Halshing Land? Yeah. Is Lockte going to Vesta Bottom? That's so far away that we can now do this. I don't have a leader assigned to him. You still good? You're still good. It says negative two, but it actually gives plus two. Okay, so... <gasps> oh, what?! No, 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 That is pretty funny. All right, give me my big boss ship. Come on, give it to me. You, are you kidding me? Where are you going? Halshing Lund. Marines. Wait, but no, I need to do it before. Send you into Urbu. Why am I going so hard on this, by the way? I don't know. Oh god! Hey, we gotta, we gotta evac. We gotta evac. But now that they're all on that side, we can totally go occupy Finn now. That's fine. I need a leader on the marines, though. 
Because they're all on Denmark right now, so... I need a leader with some maneuver. I can't really afford that, so we'll just have to do it like this. Go land on Finn. Come on, come on. Finn, 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 Yes, all right, we're in Finn. So, that means we can now occupy Colding, and it's free real estate. Because they can't stop us, yeah? So, that for some speed drive. And we can get a stick. You can't, you can't, you can't cross. That's right, buddy. That's right. Oh, uh, weren't we supposed to improve relations with you? Yeah, okay. Can I join you, Shri? With 115 relations, but I don't have a border problems yet. And I can't royal marry him. I don't think we can join you, Shri. Captains are in power, we can get tech- well, we can get this tech. And we might actually want to build that church, because it makes me a ton of money. Okay. Let's go occupy all this. And I don't want to pay for this board. Okay, but now, what am I going to do with these? Because there's a lot of units there. Half a docket a month, yeah, that's a, that's a big deal. Why am I getting war exhaustion now? What the hell? Blockaded home ports. What? Is that from that? I mean. It's nice of the game to recognize that this is my land, but I mean, it's not really. Is that actually applying? No, it's not. It's not. Okay, so that's tech 4. Do you already have that? You do. So now we need to think of something. Are we going to try fighting the Danes? By hiring the Finnish company and the free company, that will give me lots of units, and we could try fighting him. So let's try firing that guy. So we're making money again. Um. You know, I do have a discipline guy available to me, but I think I prefer the morale guy in this patch now. I do need to sink his navy. Did we rage yet? Yeah. Royal Cleaner, thank you for 40 months in a row. Tip Matt a few, sir. Did you get Riga rated? No, I didn't miss it. <sighs> yeah, let's get the... Let's get those smart companies. We are now going to scorch Finn and leave it. And we're going to wait a few months. One more month? And now we open the gate. Okay. 
Now, the nine or the eighteen army is going to arrive. Uh, is going to be locked after so fifteen days. So he's going to be locked after eight days, which means he's really going to be locked after seven days. So on the tenth of January, he's going to be locked. One, two, three. Motherfucker. Tenth of January. He's gonna be locked tomorrow. So now we move on. And we beat him to it! Yes! That's what I wanted to see. Yeah, he's locked. Let's look at that. Perfect. Now the other guy comes in, but it'll be too little too late. Yeah, they're gonna arrive on the 3rd of February. But I should get to wipe this. I might wipe both. I could just block off the straight when it happens. We'll see. Alright, let's reset it. One more time. I want to wipe the Danish army. This is giving me Warska from battles. But also, I might be able to make the Swedes disloyal like this. How's your limited desire? Oh, so close! Alright, let's open it up. Unfortunately, the Swedes are faster than the Danes. So I have to kill the 5k Swedes. This one. Can we beat that army when it's all together? I think so. So, uh, Sweden is gonna be locked after the- th Sweden, can't you just, like, fuck off? Music a bit loud. I'm so sorry. Also, I want the pirate music back. Sweden, can't you just leave? Come on, leave. No. Yes. Is that Sweden leaving? Let's open up the story. I didn't count when he got locked. Yeah, okay. Can we still beat him to it? No. Oh, I can. Yeah. Uh, shift consolidate. And now the... Uh, the sweets will be disloyal. Probably. Eleven war score, by the way. Sweets is loyal. Sweden is disloyal. So, would I be able to take Shailon, or are you gonna be like, no, you can't, because nasty boy? Yeah. Okay. Norway, fuck off, honestly. Go away. Just leave. Wait, but would you still tell me that I can't take that after I take it like this? Yeah, you, you would still do that. Stop bullying Norway. Norway's a dick, dude. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. Wait, hold on. If I kill Holstein, they'll be dead forever. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I care. I don't think they're going to stop me now. Wow, 
Baba. No, just block it now. Right, we gotta hope that they're too afraid to fight us. But I do need to siege this down. Do we have enough cannons to burn it? No, we sadly don't. Is this my entire navy? It's not. Oh, you're joking! Ten cannons off? No way, dude. <laughs> Give you another galley or something. Actually, no, just build me a bark. That'll be enough cannons. Yeah, exactly enough. Looting Fort not paid? Yeah, yeah, because they can't touch it. Sweden's disloyal, so I know that he's not gonna come in, but Denmark is rebuilding as an army, so we're on a limited limited time here. Um I'm gonna do formalized right of re-election. Wait, no. I'll wait two years and then click it. Gotta make the cam look bigger for obvious reasons. One second. My headphones is completely entangled in my... Sure, I can. Hold on. One sec. Jesus, headphones. What the hell? Oh my god, I should get more of headphones. I'm so sick of the shit. I can't move. What the fuck did I do? Jesus. This is more entangled than my hair. Okay, one second. I'll make the cam bigger for this so you can enjoy. Should be better. There you go, make the camera a little bigger there. Hold the wire and let the headphones spin on their own. Yeah, nah, that's right, that doesn't work. I'm really hoping he's not gonna try attacking me here. If only we had that extra bowl. And this is very expensive, this. So now I'm getting blockaded, which sucks. At least we're not getting called for pizza because of that. I wonder if you can still use that exploit. What the fuck is that? You were disloyal! Oh fuck, he's loyal again. Okay, very risky maneuver here. And he leaves, which means I can now get that extra guy in. Which means I can burn that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Now let's go kill this. And we get to sink some Danish boats. Good. They moved into Finn. Perfect. Stop paying for that. Oh my god. How are you that much slower than the others? God damn it, Merc companies. Okay, but we did end up winning though. And it gave me an 11 war score. So we've got 99% now. Now let's see if this exploit still works. So I'm getting a call for pizza now, send the offer. 
It still works perfect. Let me sink some more Danish boats. Is that enough for my mission? How come we don't have enough war losses yet? 17 boats. Shit, that means I'm gonna need to siege on Lund. Are you still loyal? Fuck yes. How are you that much faster, F Finland? Jesus. Okay. So, he's probably gonna come stop me then. <laughs> and we captured a heavy ship! Ah, here we go. PDX, big boss. 99% war score? Yeah, I'm aware of it. Breach the wall? I could breach, but the thing is, if Sweden is coming, then, then that doesn't matter. I can try getting rid of those, though. Okay, he's not coming, and this way we can keep, keep an eye on him. So I guess we will breach them. And we'll go over there. Let's fight the Swedish in the... So you don't want to move stuff around. If you see your enemy being frozen... Okay, right, so there's this there's this this man that you might know as being really good strategist. His name is Napoleon Bonaparte. And he said, uh, you know, if your enemy is making a mistake, do not interrupt him. Okay? So Norway here is blockading a Danish province. That does not hurt me. Okay? He still has three heavy ships. If I start fucking around with him, he might retreat, merge up with the Danish Navy, and go be annoying, right? So I don't wanna I don't wanna interrupt that. Because if he's being dumb, then he's being dumb. I also don't wanna land on Ireland, even though I could probably occupy it, but that might wake up the Swedes, and then they might decide to stop my siege over here. Right? So don't try to don't move stuff around. If if you're winning, don't try to change the game, okay? Let's leave it the way it is. Don't move your boats if you're happy with where the enemy boats are. It's fine, right? Okay? Alright, cool. So we got Lund, which means I can sink this guy again. Oh, fuck. I might lose Paradox, big boss. No! Live! Alright, so now we can get rid of the Finnish company and all that, because I no longer need these. Okay, they're gonna retreat into the Southern Baltic. That I like. I don't want Lund occupied, so I'm gonna... Stop paying for that. I'll leave some barks behind. I want my marine. Where's my marine? Ah, fuck, he's damaged. Shit. He's probably running into Bornholm here. I hope. Yeah. If you're winning, try to avoid losing. Now, it's not what I said. <laughs> Let's get rid of that guy, because we're way over for so that. I can also get rid of the free company now. And we need to keep resetting the call for pizza like this. Also, how close am I to getting Renaissance? Yeah, 54%. That's a load of bullshit. Dude. Also, as soon as we can, uh, we should try to get the, um... Focus on Diplo, but that's gonna take some time. Nine years, still. Alright, here we go. Eight. Come on, a little more. Seven. Six. And there you go. We can sink the Danes. I'm not gonna click that button until... Uh, because I've got 20 losses now, yeah? 24. Not gonna click that button until we're ready to peace out the Danes. Because there's no point. Okay. Completely evaporated the, uh, thingy navy. So now I can blockade the others. And I can blockade all of these. Big boss, uh, are you not being repaired? 
Where is Big Boss? Oh god, did he die? Okay, there he is. Yeah. Okay, good. So, we can probably also fire this dude now. And I'm only losing a duck in a month whilst this is happening. But less than a duck in a month. So we're good. This keeps resetting, yeah? yeah? Okay, and when do we have Renaissance? 1470. That's a little slow. So I'm actually gonna dev. A little bit. And get it slightly faster. Still a really long time. Yeah, we keep that man. And then we do formalize that. And then we do force re-election, and we keep him again. So now I've got a 655. And then we're gonna use this to flip into... Uh, the fast one. Actually making money now is good. I'm gonna use another two more points of mill. I don't wanna wait this long. Cause I'm going into America, okay? I move with single-minded purpose. What's going on here? So I would get completely destroyed by uh, war exhaustion here, but I'm using an exploit where I'm going. To, I'm demanding a profit. I'm demanding 18% war score while I've got whilst I've got 99. So the game thinks, oh, um, Damrak is being a troll and he's not piecing out. So it, I shouldn't be getting called for pizza because I'm giving a reasonable peace offer that he should be accepting. If Denmark were a player, he'd be getting stab hit to death like this. I know that, but why are you keeping Denmark at work? Because I want... Oh my god, they took Shetland? Does he sell Shetland as well? Always? Always. Well, that's a shame, because this province would be great for us, but that's okay. There's no But I'm keeping Denmark at war because I want Iceland. And I can't get that unless I get uh, Colonial Range. To kill Scotland? I will. I'll fight a war for Shetland. There's Norwegian, so it'll eventually let me go. It's not going to constantly down me for it. Still Faroe Island. Yeah, but the Faroes don't... The Faroes go like this. So you, you don't get access to the North Sea, which means you can't raid this area. I thought he only got Orkney. Okay. Uh, did we already flip into frequent elections? Yeah, we did. Actually... Now I want long elections, right? Now, let's just put it on frequent. See, once you have a 655, you could make it so that you just stop, a, like, stop the count. Oh, I do want, I want the Buccaneers in power as well. Uh, I can... Shouldn't I be able to raid again soon? Yeah, we can. So we get to raid Denmark one more time. <laughs> oh, goodness. May as well keep that rolling. This war has been going on for 20 years right now. Also want to get rid of that inflation completely. Demarca is the paper controller. 
okay. I wonder if we're gonna get excommunicated here. That'd be pretty funny. All right, there we go. Renaissance has been achieved. So that's Admin Tech 5. Now we can get the exploration ideas. Which means we get a quest for the new world. And we're also gonna get Colonial Ventures. And then we can reach uh, Iceland because I'm pretty sure. No, we, we still can't. We'd have to get to the third idea. Oh god. Oh god. Well, it turns out, in hindsight, getting the, um... Putting the focus on dip was a mistake. Or not putting it on dip was a mistake. Wait, uh, I'm too early. But I mean, we do get the murder Denmark here, so... And Sweden. Like, they're getting completely destroyed by this. So I don't have to worry about them down me anytime soon, because they're gonna be very damaged. Oh! What are you- No! Are you nuts? What was up with that? Actually fighting me. What is this? Okay, and this thing is going all made of repression now. Yeah, all right, seems good. So let's keep that party rolling, and also we can stop paying for this. How? Why am I losing? Why am I getting so much war exhaustion? I'm kind of confused by that. Also, I'm still raising war taxes, so. Raid Russia? I, I've raided everything that I can raid. Oh, I thought I did. Now I did. Thank you! Yeah, I just need uh, 400 uh, dip points. Then I can do it. Can we pay off all the debt now? Yeah. Can I press C by this so I don't have to keep clicking it? No, there's no hot key for that. Also, we could get uh, innovativeness from Tech 6. Yeah, but I'll need to core my stuff, so I'm not so sure if I'm... Uh, you know what? I think I can just core this stuff anyway. Yeah. Seems good. Sure. Surprised he hasn't excommunicated me yet. I mean, it would have been pretty fun times, but... Radical reforms? Uh, I'm not sure I can fire that actually. Dip? Oh, bog! Yes, we got the dip. Nice. So how is how fast is this growing now? Plus two. Yeah, that might not be enough. I want to keep it over fifty because nasty shit starts happening below that. Do I have negative relations with Pope Man? Yeah, I do. I do have negative relations with Pope Man. Why is the game running so quick? Uh, there's been a 10% performance boost. And they have that as policy now, that every patch needs to get a 10% performance boost. And there's been a 10% performance boost. And also, thanks to you guys, I have a beast of a PC. So that helps. But it's also faster than the previous patch. Am I going to take the Sweden province? No, I've got a different idea on how to spawn uh, Norse. <gasps> Norse? Yes! But I need to get to the Caribbean. Okay. Oh, free explorer. Merchant arranges expedition. Say what? I said Norse! Religion! Iron Man! Vanilla! No random new world! Yes! 
Alright, I got myself a guy. Almost unattainable! Almost! But not completely. Alright, let us sink the Danes. And now this 50 odd year war, how long did it take? They, they literally started it at the start of the game. Um, 22 years. Okay. But, we screwed him good. Give me those islands. And give me Iceland. And give me all your money. And actually just give me the war up too. Just screw him completely. Right, we gotta wait until the 23rd. A yoink! And no one cares. What? Excuse me, what? Red Cross means he won't accept. You're walking on ice. <laughs> Seriously, you don't want to accept a hundred percent? You want to keep going? Relative strength of alliance is that bad. I mean, I gave him 20 war exhaustion. How does he? How is that not enough to make him accept that? Length of war negative three. I'm very confused, but sure. I didn't hear no bell. Yeah, unfortunately, that made him lose the war exhaustion completely. So, all right, but we won though. And uh, we could apparently set Volgast as a rival, and then we can embargo him and do all sorts of that fun stuff. But, we're gonna go core this thing, yes. And we'll core the rest too. Now, get all of my guys together. Denmark rivaled me, I want to root out the corruption. And I got two heavy ships. Do I not have any barks? No. I can't explore with these, right? No. All right, but I think we should get rid of some of the galleys because I don't. I let's get rid of some of the transport ships. But now that we're at peace, we'll do it the following way. Also, can I raid some more stuff? Yeah, I can raid the center of England. Maybe get a uh, CB on Scotland. Yeah, I'll try selling the ships, don't worry about it. Okay. So let's pay off that debt. I think that was all of my debt paid off just now. And uh, we can go rival Denmark and Lubeck. Would also like to collect from trade in this little world now. And we're gonna get rid of you. And then maybe one, two, three, four, five, six galleys or something. I don't wanna be super over the limit. Embargo Lubeck? Lanshoot is the Emperor. Interesting. Check the rating map out, see if I've missed anything. Uh, okay, I missed Sligo. But you know what I like Sligo, I'm gonna let them live. Uh, we need to embargo a ton of stuff, but I don't have any free to plan. Excuse me, it's Landsgut. Is it Landsgut? Landsgut? Let's maybe try firing that event. Oh, there's the master. Wow, perfect. Yeah. Try grabbing that. I also don't have to pay for my navy. Actually making money now. Pong. I'm paying for a fort that I really don't need. And obviously, the first thing over here that we're gonna get is higher developed colonies.
But I just got excommunicated, which is hilarious. But I don't own Berg's Lagen. But like I said, we're going we're going to do that by a different route. So I'm actually gonna buy this down. Core one province? I can't. It's too far away. I think I should reset the shipbuilding because look the time has slowed down a lot. Why not pick the Portuguese age ability for 50 colonists? You're a pirate, you should steal it. I, there are certain things you can't steal. I can't form Portugal or anything like that. Right, and I'm not gonna do that trick because to, to ruin all my money, I'm sorry, no. Got bigger fish to fry. I would like to state to fry this fort. Oh, it might have been an idea to keep the fort to get rid of the devastation. Haha! <laughs> You know what? Screw it. I'll uh, rebuild the fort. You can dev it a little bit. I'm not gonna dev this. I'm not gonna dev that. It's fine, it'll be gone in 80 years or so. I think it's worth building the fort. Right, but what I do need is more barks. I guess we'll just do this. That way we're gonna get them on time. And we can call Reykjavik now. Try exploring with two heavies and one light. Ooh, is that gonna be allowed? Pretty fog. Oh, it is! Yes! Hi, right, cool. Explore. Up. Up. Go. Explore. Explore. Yes. Yes. It's in the tooltips that foretell the devastation of province. You knew me. Yes, thank you. If there's a cross, it means they won't accept. Ooh, a level 2 trader. What if I do? So actually, focus is. Focus is still on admin. No, 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 not my bark. It's fine, it's fine. We'll build it somewhere else. Darn it. You silly goose. Why would you do this to me? Uh, I'll get myself a leader. Did it cancel the four too? No, 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 it does not cancel four constructions. Valux Gaming 99. It does not cancel. Oh, wow. You know what? I'll actually get a Conquistador. I still have Valux soon. I see that. But that's not that big of a problem. Uh, who wants to be a Conquistador? L Cookie 1. Max Pips there. Uh, I'm going to want to wait another month. Maybe like one more. Oh, and we can get the uh, extra settlers. There go. Now, I need you to explore the Caribbean. Yes. Uh, I think I need to wait for February. Cause these fucking rebels, dude. Okay. So we've dealt with that. Uh, now, thankfully, Iceland's gonna only going to spawn 7k. I would like to be there when that happens. So. Let's get over there. Okay. And 
get you in there. What a shit stream today. What do you mean, shit stream? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I thought things were fun today. What are you talking about? Alright, we got we got to deal with this. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go grab that. There we go. Cool. Got the captain's back and power? I need to make sure we got the buccaneers. Alright, <laughs> let's get rid of that murder company. I don't like any that. And we can get our guys back. Is my um war exhaustion almost gone? Yeah, it's almost gone. Cool. I could stay to fight Iceland, but I don't really want to do that. And we are very, very close to seeing the Caribbean. So, should be good. And once we have uh, Bermuda, we'll be in a merry way. Is my captain Bjorni Sanders? No, it's Bjorn Sandals. Almost. Okay, so you can see the Caribbean. Now I need you to do the Caribbean coast. And then we will have... Yoinked myself. Hey, what? Oh, you're joking. I still can't reach it. Um. Okay, then. Does that mean I need a colonial range guy? Okay, could you explore with just these? I need a colonial range guy. Crap. I thought I'd be able to reach it right now. Yes, update did improve uh, improve performance. Really, you're giving me level two dudes? Oh, God. Oh, shit, I have to fire the trader then. Oh, Pog! Hey, Caribbean Sea, please. What the hell? But I just got the colonial range. Huh? I need a month tick? Well, let's hope so. Yo, what the hell? No, 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 I didn't have to do Bermuda first. Wait another month! <laughs> did you go to Iceland? I did, I can stay the fight. The year tick. I heard they removed the Caribbean in the final version of 1.34. <laughs> go East Coast. Shit, no, I think I'll have to steal a map. From Portugal. Dude, that's so stupid. I was totally able to reach it earlier. I know I can't reach Bermuda, but. Shit, if I need Dip Deck 7, that sucks. I shouldn't need that. Let's also build up a spy network on Castile. Shit. Yeah, no, I can't reach it. Crap. Got the Isles last time though. Did I get Dip Deck 7? You gonna tell me that this is somehow closer? Of course it is. Oh. 
The earth is flat. It doesn't matter. I can still beat him to it. As long as I... Steal the map. Because he's going to have it explored way before he has the range into it. So I'll be okay. But no, right? Like I'm a pirate. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna explore it myself. I'll just steal the map. I think it's more roleplay. And also I know that Portugal can see it. We just need to have vision on it, and then we'll get Bermuda. I would have loved to get Hello, Doctor, my old friend. It seems like we're going to war with Portugal. I wonder what happens here. If you full annex him in the next 176 days, it'll cancel the. What the fuck? I wonder what happens to the mission. Hey, give me this. 85% crown There we go. Extra admin. We pretty much also want that. And then I'll seize. What happens to the mission? I get a claim on it. This actually buffs out. Trust me, this buffs out. This is good. Because I'm pretty sure he can colonize it way faster than I can. I'm gonna keep grabbing this. We're going full hand. This buffs out. I'll have the spy network on time. Don't worry about it. I want a spy network guy? Yeah, or do we grab this? Destroy colony? Destroy? Sorry, but I'm not gonna... Uh, shit, I might gain admin here... Well, there's a 66% chance that I don't... Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna lose 13 points, but I'm gonna gain that... ...from... ...waiting. Okay. Is that attack 7? 
expansion. Yeah, I'm gonna seize it, but I'm gonna get the CB. I'm gonna let him grow. And then when it's almost done, I'm gonna send Marines in there to yoink it. And this time, the only thing we need to do is protect our... Uh, protect Shayland. So, it's good. It's great. Mom on a deficit no, actually. That should, that should not be a fort. I wasted my time. I'm not gonna defer with the admin, obviously. And let's stop paying for the army. Might wanna move the capital. No. I'm also not gonna move the trading capital, because it's kinda pointless. I also don't have to pay for the navy anymore, because this explore it. No, I mean, you can explore it. No! Fuck! Oh, yeah, it's starting to get a little bad now. Because uh, he's got 40% settler chance. Okay, this is good. Yeah. So now we can get next thing. Extra colonist. Ah, oh, shit, this is starting to get real bad. Uh, we can raid, actually. Let's not forget to do that. Declare on Scotland? No, 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 I shouldn't get distracted. Ah, shit, this is bad. Shit. Uh, I want some more Marines. To go land on, uh, Bermuda. Hey, don't get caught. Don't get caught. 44? Shit. I might end up getting caught. 45, come on, come on, come on, 47, right, go in. 48, 50. Oh no! I need Diptech 6! No, 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 no. I didn't think about that. Oh, no, what a disaster. What a disaster piece. Oh, that is not good. Um, okay. This is why you play on speed 5 and not reach yet, you know. It's a load of crap and you know it. Hey, what can I reach? I could reach this. <sighs> Shit. There are solutions to this problem. There are solutions to this problem. I should have taken Faroon and then and then. Would have been able to reach it then. All I needed was to just reach it. Um, okay. Range? I can't, I can't reach this. I, the colonial range guy, I, we already know that with that guy I can't reach it. Okay, I had him before, it, it wasn't enough. I'm gonna declare more Mecklenburg. Austria isn't the emperor. Are you fucking? Are you joking? 
Oh! It's fine. It's fine. We got a couple options. We can either no CB him. But I really don't want to do that. Oh, you dick. I can't believe this. Alright, let's uh, go for a three prong attack. Music volume too high. Oh god damn, Victor Lo Lo Victor Colum is mad. You cannot see what's going on. I'll tell you what's going on, okay? You're doing fine. Gotta call you in Africa next day. No, I can't. I, I, there's no way I can reach that. Listen, okay, I did this before. The only issue was, I had this province. So I, I figured with Iceland being where it is, we'd totally be able to reach one province in the Caribbean. That's all I needed. Cam outside border. Music volume too loud. I'm not sure if he's trolling or if he's actually upset. I'm terribly sorry. Okay. But it is what it is. Those to be Jolof and Vasilis? Yeah. <sighs> See, I didn't want to take Orkney because I knew that would bog me down with wars against England and I really didn't want to mess around with that. So that's why we were speed firing. And I'm not sure if I should keep responding to this. Alright, so we got ourselves a third merchant. Uh, let me go and park you over in, uh, in Norway. And I'm, I was waiting for tech, so, you know, speed five seemed like a good decision there. I don't think we'll have time, we'll have to know CB him. Yeah. Because I can't steal the map. So. There's nothing to it. Because without that province... <sighs> Let's think about this. Without that province, I won't be able to move the capital. I'll get a permanent claim on it, but then we have to actually win the war, which is going to take a really long time. So... When does he ever colonize Bermuda, though? Are you joking? Yeah, I'm gonna no CB him. I got no other choice. I got no other choice. Oh, oh, oh boy. Yeah, give me the Republican position, thank you very much. Miss sub? Oh, my bad. Uh, Derp the Rat, thank you for gifting us sub to Portugal! Tip my hat to you, sir! Portobola, he does that almost every- yeah, Of course they colonize Bermuda, but do they do it, like, first? I don't know about that, man. It's the first time it's happened to me here, so... Yeah, this stinks. At least we can breathe a little bit. <laughs> I genuinely don't have a choice. Because if he if he gets this, we can't we can't keep going. So I have to burn it. Oh 
I wanted to get a CD through some other means, but... No, Bermuda's always... Yeah, okay, listen. I know it's always owned in 1821. <laughs> but it is 1479. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Sucks, but it has to be done. Because... We have to put a stop to this. Oof, nasty. Another stab hit? I can't, I can't hold that. Oh, dude, that is so unfortunate. Now, once we occupy it, we're gonna need to rest up here for a bit. Because uh, my navy's gonna sink otherwise. So we're in. We sit here for one month and then we burn it. He's actually here carrying units. Please step away. <laughs> uh, I would like to repair my guys. Uh, these dudes have risen up, but because it's... Um, they don't have enough dudes to siege it down, so I don't have to worry about that. Why not seize it? I would if I could, but I can't. Okay, well, <laughs> so much for that, so much for that. I mean, we're still alive, but I wonder how long that's going to take. Because the English Navy just totally sank mine. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> what a doozy. Um, well then, that is really unfortunate. We can hope that they leave, but... Oh, no! Maybe have some time before we have to fight that again. But... Yeah, kind of figured with my uh, Kronberg fort we'd be unbeatable there, but... I guess not. Oh, no, not another 1444! <laughs> I think so, though. I don't think we have another chance. Oh. What a disaster. I need to check the, the colonial range, though. For the next attempt. If you burn the colony, will it reset the mission? It will. It will. <laughs> and they instantly send them out again. <laughs> they instantly send them out again. Oh, no. But at least, at least it means we'll get to steal it. But yeah. Uh, it seems like in order to get down there... What if we get Orkney? I need to know. My precious colony. Yeah, rip a duel ding dong. <laughs> oh, so is Ferernan going to be enough then? Is that going to be better than Iceland? It might be better, because I didn't have ice the last time. I was able to reach it just fine. One sec, let me go check this. Because then we also don't need to make the war last that long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do all that. Uh, I want to see... Debug mode. Colonize 1978. Okay. So with that, and tech one. Uh, tech one. And some dip points. Is that gonna let me get there? Okay. I might need the colonial range guy as well. No Iron Man? Yeah, because I need to measure distance and it's impossible in the game. There's no thing that lets you do that. I, I think instead of Shetland, we should get this thing. Because I might not be able to get Shetland if it gets sold. Oh, 
1978. Tag off. And if I can reach this. Command TI. Uh, that. Okay, we can do the Caribbean Sea region. I just need to know if this is closer than Iceland. What about Noisy being Desmond? Yeah, I don't want to do that because that's gonna cost resources. Yeah, it is closer! Huh. Okay then. Yeah. So that was the mistake we made. What happened with the yesterday's room? Well, I got Norseed. Game over, thank you for something for seven months in a row. Tip metal to you, sir. So, back to 4044 it is. We'll have to try again. Flurry, start again. 4044, not invest in army, only fleet. Listen, Victor Colum, you think you can talk shit about me and that you're good in the, at the game or whatever the fuck, but if you don't build an army, you're going to die because you only have one fucking year, all right? So, uh, huh? <laughs> you only have one. All right, let, let's do this. Let, let, let's do this. Let's invest in the navy. <laughs> let's invest in the navy from the start. Don't build the army. Only navy. Let's do this. Eric is no king. Life is too short. We got. Uh, <laughs> We got some some great help here. <laughs> Victor, Mr. Victor over here. All right, let's get myself my uh, my morale of armies guy. How is this man not banned? <laughs> Beautiful. All right, let's uh, let's rate the coast. Uh, this really sucks, but I'll have to lose the dip. Invest in the navy from the start. Let's do it. Give me, uh, give me more galleys. No army, no army built, nation gentlemen. We don't need an army. Okay. So what is my, uh, what is my admiral? Uh, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. I think we're going to win, guys. I think we're going to win. We don't need fortifications. We only need one thing, and it is boats. There's our naval reformer. Let's uh, go upgrade this. I actually do need to dev. Otherwise we won't have 20 force limit, and we can't get our Gallic common ability. Okay. Fort demolit? Yeah, yeah, because uh, if they land, you're dead anyway, so the fort does nothing. The fort does nothing for you. Are you kidding me? He's gonna be right too because Sweden declared independence. I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. <laughs> He's gonna be right too because Denmark doesn't declare because Sweden declared independence. No way! Now we can't even ban him. <laughs> He's gonna be right too. No. Okay, but in all honesty, Victor, Victor, if you play on normal, you can you can build a bow. You're right. If you play on normal, you can build a bow. But on very hard difficulty, he declares war in two months, or within twelve months. And so, if you don't build an army. You cannot beat his navy because they have 60 bolts, so then then they die. You have to build an army. You can't you can't not build an army. Uh, you have to fight him on beat because if you if you try to build boats, they, you'll just die, honestly. In, in all seriousness. And sorry for yelling at you, but <laughs> I kept seeing your name typing all this this ass on my face. Give that man VIP status. I don't know. I don't know if I want him in the chat. <laughs> Let them deal with Sweden. Return of the king. <laughs> but you like ass on my face. I mean, ass on your face is, is alright, but... You know. 
It, it depends if it's a smelly ass or not. I play only very hard. Okay, I'm restarting to show you that you'll die. <laughs> also, I don't want to be given victory by the AI giving it to me. Then <laughs> I'll restart just to show. <laughs> <laughs> this victor is taking over my brain, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this victor is taking over my brain. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I have to prove this now. <laughs> he is number one rival. <laughs> Alright. Life is too short to waste it on that. Let's uh, go use the privacy of nobility and sell. We need to we need to show this man that this doesn't work. Show strength on Victor. Alright, listen. Victor, you can't build boats. Okay. You cannot. Uh I, I do need my morale and this guy. We have one available, that's good. Perfect. Alright. And I also want the dev right from the start, because I need that. And our focus has to be on admin. Let's do it. Use quick and sold on Victor. I'll use quick and sold on Victor. One second. <laughs> Victor, you, you've become an, a classic on the stream now. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, get rid of that couple of four progress because we haven't lost anything. Can I get my uh, building ships almost? Yeah, there we go. Okay, how's my Admiral, by the way? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay. Here we go. Focus, on, focus on, only on the Navy from the start. This is what Master Victor told us here. Nice <laughs> job. Oh, do we still have my fourth? I do. Let's get rid of that. Master Victor. Okay. Denmark declares war on us, Mr. Victor. But we focus... We focused on the navy, Mr. Victor! I th I'm sure we'll be victorious here! It's part of your name, Mr. Victor! Hey, Mr. Victor, what's... What am I supposed to do about this, Mr. Victor? Combatability? I don't have it yet! Mr. Victor, please! Alright, there's my combatability. Where's my combatability? Uh, uh, I don't feel so good, Mr. Victor. <laughs> can I finish my boat? I can. I can. Okay, Mr. Victor, I'm sorry. But I can only build one boat before he attacks me. So you're telling me now I should suicide into this navy? I don't know. I don't know about that, Mr. Victor. I think, I think I'm not going to do that. I think I'm not going to do that. I think I'm instead going to build a free company and try to live. How about, how does that sound? I'm hoping they're even going to finish on time, I don't know. You'll beat the Navy. <laughs> okay. We'll beat it. I'll beat the Navy. Let's do it. Now I have a feeling I'm not going to be beating this Navy, but we'll see. Um, okay, my Frederica is dying. I'm sorry, Mr. Victor, but I'm not going to throw the game for you. So I'm going to I'm going to retreat now. Okay, he actually he actually walked off. <laughs> Seems good. Can we get rid of that guy? There you go. Okay, he's back. I need uh, to build more troops. How's my uh, most damaged boat? Okay, how much time do we have? We have until the 6th of March. He was fucking right. No, he wasn't. Get out of here. Alright, I need another two months to go in. Victor for VIP. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay. 
Uh, we gotta go out now. Victor for VIP, huh? We'll see about them apples. Okay, my boats are dead. I gotta retreat. I gotta retreat. Um, how much time do I have? Two more months. <laughs> well, thing is, they're so damaged now that if I go out now, we've got what's somewhere else. Why the 1444? Uh, Portugal colonized Bermuda, so I couldn't do the the moving thing. All right. Um, who wants a leader? Make Victor a general. <laughs> no, but Victor doesn't want lands. He only wants troops. All right, we'll name him Victor. <laughs> Victor got max pips! <laughs> Wait, no. No, he's one off. He's one off. <laughs> he's one off. <laughs> Alright, now my best bet is that we fight this and they retreat. But, and they decide not to land, but that's not gonna happen. And I should stop trying to lose and actually just build more troops. Jordan 6, thank you so much for 32 months in a row. Tip out to you, sir. Alright, the sweets come in. How, how's my navy doing? Yeah, we're alright. Yeah, if I use those, they're gonna insta die. How much time do I have? 14. Still alive? Okay, one of my ships disengaged. Okay, we got the price and it's sinking. I gotta run, dude. Alright, so... Ideally, he just moves now. Okay, that's not gonna happen. I need to get myself a discipline guy or something. I won't be able to get him by the next month, so... Uh, well... Come on, Mr. Victor, at least roll well then. Oh, you're, you're rolling very well. Shit, he's got an 05? Ah, uh, Mr. Victor, I'm sorry, but... I, I'm sorry, but focusing on the land army, or focusing on the boats is not a good idea. I'm dead. I cannot even afford to build one galley, okay? I'm sorry, I just can't. You can't build the galley. Poor execution of Victor's plan. It wasn't the plan that was at fault. No! I'd love to build galleys. I really would. Victor was right. Didn't take Shetland. Portugal beat you to it. Ratio, you fell off. Oh, how fun it is. I, I want everyone to say thank you, Victor. Because... I had a good laugh about this many things. The expand infrastructure you get faster ship build time. Yeah, 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 Five percent. That would have made the difference.
Oh man, Victor, this name, this name is gonna haunt me forever. <laughs> okay, uh, Eric is nobody's king. At least he's the mayor of Gotham. Life is too short. Okay, uh, let me do this and that and then sell so we get the extra money. Uh, let's not. I'm then sorry, Victor, but we're gonna deviate from your plan a little bit and build an army instead. And okay, let's start raiding. Sell the transports? Uh, no, because uh, I'm not gonna sell any boats. Uh, they, they don't do a lot, but they're there, and they take up damage, so I'll take it. Ooh, Eric is really good at fighting, though, so that's nice. Inflation? Attempt to. Yes, yes, it's always attempt to. We only need one attempt. Victor is victorious. He had another ball. I could have saved it. I could have saved it if I hired the Finnish company, but that's very inefficient. Oh, we died. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, we're 51 years old. I do need to focus on the uh, admin. Oh, and he got ship durability! Oh, that's good. That is very good. Let's see what kind of admiral he is. Max pips? Let's go! Ah, oh, do you think we should have built that one galley, guys? Let's try again. <laughs> Alright, we need to dev. We need to dev like crazy. Let's do it. Also, Victor, you don't really want to fight the Navy until you get the... Uh, until you get the Privateers made. I think. We can try taking pot shots at them. Because we can retreat and probably sink one or two galleys. Uh, do I have a morale of Navy guy? I don't. Let's go get one. It could work, how do you know? <laughs> no, alright. No, you might not believe me, but we are relatively decent at this game. Don't pay for the army? I'm not. Now watch Victor not- I mean... Watch Denmark not to play. But, uh, hold on, I wanna check Colonial Range for a quick sec. Can I reach this? Yeah, yeah, yeah! If I get, uh, Exploration 1, then we can reach it. If we can get a Colonial Range guy, but we'll just get the money for it. Have we raided everything? Yes. Victor declaring war. Oh, he almost did. Right. I'll dev that a little bit so I can get the Gallic ability. Now we're gonna expand infrastructure as well. Yeah, there we go. This is enough, guys. Uh, so I can I can get the galley now. And now it's gonna finish a lot faster. So seems good. Actually, kind of surprised Demark hasn't downed yet. Oh. <laughs> right, let's scorch the earth. Victor is clearly king of Denmark. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Here he is. Now, I've got a lot of time, and he's not using an admiral. Meanwhile, we've got a really good one. Let's go get the captains in power. Yeah. So we've got that. Do I have my morale of neighbors guy? I don't yet, but it takes him until May. So we've got four attempts to get our guy, and the ship's gonna finish on the 18th. Okay, you stop trying to land. Because we built an army, Mr. Victor. Next, my navy reformer triggered. You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> he started the copy pasta. <laughs> I cannot handle it. Wait, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. I think... If I wait a little bit... Oh, we should raise war taxes, by the way. Because it's uh, free stuff. I think if he's not blockading, we might be able to build it a lot faster. 
Let's try getting him to leave the blockade. Oh, we rolled a 9. Let's go. Okay. 66, 19, sunk one galley. Does this already count as not blockaded? No, no. Uh, let's just build it. It's fine. Okay. Sinking another one. My navigator is being kick ass. Still holding steady. Gonna sink it. Oh, uh, staff fast is down. We need to retreat. But we sank two galleys. I'm gonna call that a win. Advisor? Would have been kind of useful information there. But... Hey, so if he's not blockading, is this. Yeah, I did lower it. So I'm gonna queue them up now. Uh, we might be forced to hire the free company, but. I think if we just. I think maintaining the army is more valuable than uh, not doing. Not maintaining it. Because this way I'll never have to hire the Merc company, yeah? Because he. He's going to be too afraid to land. How much of a difference does that make? 1.6 dockets of difference. But I think that completely gets compensated by the fact that... Um, we don't have to hire the Merc companies. So yes, I'm over the limit. But I think it's good. And do I keep deving? My force limit is 7 now. I think we can reasonably get to 8. Maybe with one more in mill? Yeah, that's eight. So that dramatically reduces the cost of it. It saves me a duck at a month, so I think that's a good deal. Okay. Get a general so he's more scared. No. If he's scared enough, that's fine. Okay. Let's go fight the Swedes again. Because my navy's fully repaired. We have a morale of navy sky this time. Uh, we've got our captains in power, so it's time to take some pot shots on him. Okay, and steady. Steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. 9 to 9. Sank some more boats. Uh, one of my boats is on low. Uh, he's at 69 though, and Jupiter is at 5%. So I'm gonna roll for one more day and hope that he stays alive. Okay, he's still alive. He's at 58. I see another one of his at 6, so I'm going to keep going. He's at 47. Do I sacrifice him? No. Play it safe. Play it safe. Sank three galleys. Not gonna win trading boat for boat. It wasn't about trading boat for boat. It was about that naval battle might spiral out of control, so we win. But we should probably just play it safe. Because time is on our side here. In 1450, we're going to get that extra bonus, so. But definitely paying for the army is uh, the way to go. Are we fully repaired? We are, and here is the Norwegian Navy. Now the Norwegian Navy fucking slaps, so I kind of want them to leave. Okay, they've left, so now there's the Danes. They're carrying 12,000 units and they're leaving it. Oh, oh, yeah, no leader for a sec. Would focus on dip make sense? No, because if you want to colonize the new world as fast as possible, you should focus on admin. Otherwise, you'll not get the tech on time. If you focus on dip, you're going to hit the point cap, and then you can't you can't use it on ideas. Unless you're really big and you can bank up all your dip in, uh, in a, di a culture bank, then that might make sense, but we can't. And really good rolls here. This could be the battle. This could be the battle where we secure naval dominance. Uh, I want a marine. Can't get him yet. It's okay. okay the Nor Norwegians are in there now. But I think I think we got this. Oh shit, we're getting desert music again. No! No desert music. You also want a spine work? Ah uh, yeah, we do. We do. But it'll take a long time before we start sieging. Okay, shit. Denmark is coming in now. But he's coming in with a bunch of uh, cogs. I think we can we can manage. 
If I, another one of my boats turns red, then I might retreat. Okay. Just turned red. That... Jar mice is a low... I think we should retreat. Because with those boats reinforcing, that's going to be nasty, so... Landing again. Ah, he's landing again. My boats. Next month we can go out. We got plenty of time. Let's wait one more month. Wait, if I fight now, I might be able to fight him twice. Hey, reinforces? Skana's on low. Shoot. And how's he doing? I feel like I might need to sacrifice him. We can run, remove Skana and go again. Yeah. Ah, oh, but he leaves already. Perfect. Alright, uh, let's go build another galley then? No, wait, first I want a marine. And then I want to get rid of the horse. 44, what did I miss? Uh, Portugal got the Bermuda first, which was kind of the entire point. Right, and then another galley. Seems good. Let's go out again. Okay. Yeah, I don't really care about my lightship, but I, uh, I saw another boat dying, so we gotta, we gotta go. But, I mean, we sank three barks, so... Slowly but surely whittling him down. Yeah, definitely keeping him. Because he's a navigator and he's got the... He's really good stats. Okay, so another galley. Next year, in like 12 months from now, we're gonna get 10% morale. I can't wait that long, so let's get rid of you. And go out. Ready? Nine to two. Let's go. Zero to seven. Skana again on low. Fucking Skana, man. Yeah, that's what we need. Swear to God, that ship is uh is on the enemy side. Isn't getting a light ship on the battle a bad thing? Uh, it would be, but I mean, they're still helping a little bit. Fire the captain of the Scotty, yeah, it probably should. So, given how he's periodically landing anyway, I, I, I think I can afford to stop paying for my army now. And there's the privateer's way. So, we get the extra morale now, Renaissance happens, so we can start deming a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure if I should though, but yeah, no, I, I really should. I want to get it to 30. I'll use one more in that, and like this. That's fine. Alright, we're fully repaired, we've got our 10% morale, uh, I think we can win now. Okay. Uh, Rabokan is on low. But I'm about to sink the stock fiscus. Rabokan, hold please. Thank you. Alright, get out. Now go get the other edict for spread. Uh, sure, that's a fair point.
Okay. We're repairing very slowly because he's blockading. I want to be fully repaired because your navy is as strong as your as, as its weakest link. Alright, let's go out. Yes, this is good. Come on, let's sink that heavy. And we got it. I think we're gonna win it. We're gonna see this one through to the end. So the Clint, Clint the Han might uh, sink, but I got this, I think. Yeah, Clint the Han held on for a very long time. And he did roll a nine, but... Oh, are you gonna disengage? He disengaged! What a hero! What a hero! Oh my god! That has got to be the best pirate I've ever seen. Oh my god, Clintahan! You beast! Perfect! Captured 11 boats. And we've got full naval superiority now. Now, it's time to pay for our uh, fleet, yes. So we've got the Gotland the Pirate fleet now. I gotta pay for the army. I said fleet, but I meant army. Because now, we get our marine. And look at that. 23 guys in Bornholm. My guy lands super fast, because he's a marine. Swedish generals? Uh, I think they're already dead. Move some transfer chips. First we kill this. Sink it. Alright, captured some more boats. He's going to Gonga. We rinse and repeat, and we hope he doesn't touch us. This is very risky, but it, I think it's worth uh, the marine. Because they land so fast that he might not have time to respond. Get the navy into the port. I already told it to go into a port before the naval battle started, so we'd have the shortest time possible of being in there. Captured some more boats. You can't, like, walk there, right? We go again. He shouldn't feel the need to unseach this, and so he shouldn't walk over here because it's being automatically unseached. And that is sink the Danes. Perfect. Did we sink the Danes because of the... Yeah, we got enough ships sunk so we can click this button whenever now. It's not because he doesn't have a navy anymore, it's just because we, we kicked his ass. Alright, so now it's time to fix our money situation. We're gonna do that by repairing our boats real quick. We can stop paying for the army again. And we're gonna blockade him into submission because it makes us tons of money. Uh, now I can get rid of some of the transport ships, yeah, that's right. I got too many of those. But I shouldn't get rid of the box, I don't think, because they're very useful to, uh, for blockading. Swedish pretender was just occupied Sweden. He's got 20k on that! They might succeed. That'll be super good for us. Well, I mean, ideally, it stays part, like, Denmark is just, um... Yeah, what are you leaving behind that? That should be enough to deal with that. And we are now making money. Okay, so it actually seems like he's... So he's landing on that, but I, what I need is I need tech 4. Or I need to siege on Shailan before uh, shit hits the fan. Now I can occupy Finn. We should have enough boats to burn Shailan. So if I can get like 20,000 units, we can siege it down.
It'll be a slight expense, but it's only temporary. So we're gonna get this, we're gonna land on Finn, we're gonna hire the Finnish guys there, and then we're gonna move it to Shayland. Yeah? It'll take him some time to siege this down, so... Should have enough time here. If we can do this before Tech 4, that'd be grand. We'd even trapped on Alan if he took East and the Rebels hold Stockholm. Yes, but then... He can just unseat his stuff and... There's no... You'd have to trap every single person on Alan. It's very hard to do that. I do need to pay for my army though. But the Free Company is gonna be the one that takes the longest to recover. Oh fuck, he's fighting me. Shit. I, I want everyone into this. Because we got we're gonna start our invasion now. Right, stay alive, thank you. Oh, you little shit, you gotta be joking. No, give me my cog back. Ah, it's fine. Uh I want my marine. Separate? How many transfer ships do we have? Eleven. Yeah, okay. Do it like this. I see the two ships fighting, but they'll, they'll move away. Alright, go enter Finn. You're kidding me. You didn't bring in the... Oh, this sucks. But they should be able to siege it down anyway, on time. And under budget. He already see on siege Stockholm though, so. Yeah, no, this is not gonna work. Oh my god, you gotta be joking. How much time will we have? Not enough. We gotta bail. We gotta think of something else. I can't. Because of the fucking marines, dude. Oh wow, he actually stack whipped it. You know what? I'm uh, I'm gonna burn this. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna redo that the whole fucking thing. Yeah, that that was a good plan, but it didn't bring in the marines because <laughs> they didn't have enough transport ships to bring both the marines and the other guy. This would have never have happened if you listened to Victor. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm gonna burn that. I'm gonna burn that. It's not, a, it's not a no burning campaign. I'm not, I'm not gonna do this whole thing over again. I'm sorry. I won't do that to you. Don't forget war taxes for the mill points. And they turn on. They turn on. But hey, stock wipes are back! Yay! <laughs> Mr. Speedrunner is cheap. No, it's not cheap. Alright, we're having a, a fun campaign here, alright? Shit. You really want me to 4044 and go all the way from the start? No, sorry. Not doing that. You know what else is turned on? Yeah, yep. <laughs> Alright, so the idea was that instead of landing there. I, I, I see? And now I get to show you what should have happened with that. Okay. So my entire navy is here. Do we have the entire navy? Uh, no, we still need to bring you over. Okay. So what should have happened, and I need a month tick. Yes. So where is that marine of mine? Yeah. Marine. So here's what should have happened. Can I ship these over? I should be able to ship these over. I don't know what happened there. I think the game just cheated, you know? So we're just debugging here. So the Marine arrives on the 1st of November, which is gonna make the difference. Yeah. So now we can bring you guys over, and we should probably bring half the galleys to go with that. Okay. 
The only issue is I won't be able to siege down Shaylan if he's there, so I'm gonna need them to leave and go somewhere else. Yeah, and they did. Oops. Free company is fully repaired. Now, do we go for this? Uh, I need to know if I can burn it or not. I need to know if we have 300 cannons. Okay, the only way to count that is... I've got 22 galleys. Uh, what's 22 times 12? Uh, help. I think I have enough cannons. 22 times 12. Yeah, I've got enough cannons, right? That's 264. And then another 90. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Okay, so... Do you think we can make this? Because it would be great if we don't have to wait for tech... Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I have to get the Finns in Gotland! Shoot. Siege leader? No, no, no. If I actually siege this down, we won't have enough time. We have to assault it. Which, there is a chance that that's gonna work. There's also a chance it won't work. I would like to know where he, where he is. He's not here. I think we go. Victor's back in chat. Oh god. How? Why did he leave? You need barks for the cannon. Yeah, yeah, one sec. But I don't think I need the barks. I also have cogs. Alright, one more month. Let's go. Okay, that was... Okay, now we can go. Now I should out morale in. Yeah, a little bit. That's enough. And now we need to get a little lucky. Thing is, if he doesn't want to come along... Yeah, I'm not gonna be paying for this. I just want a quick assault and then delete the army. I think we'll make it. We gotta pause every single day. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I need you to clench your butt cheeks for this one. Okay, not getting awesome rolls here. But we should be able to last until the month tick as well. That was a good one. That was a very good one. Look at that. Boom. Console? Because I keep... I control group these, so I don't have to switch. And the one is right next to the console button. But here you go. There's no... There's no console shenanigans. Okay, this is a terrible roll. Do you see that? Uh, he's only losing five guys. And okay, now he's losing a little bit more. Very bad roll. Come on. For some reason, he's not using the free company. Hey, okay, now the free company is starting to be used. You gotta hold for a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Seven more days. Come on. Yes. Come on, free company. Be the hero that we need you to be. Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay. Let's fire all these mercs. You've done your job. Epic. 
All right, cool. So we won the war. Nice. So now all we gotta do is uh, get Tech Five, get Exploration One, and then we can take uh, Ferenene, which is what we need. Yeah, we don't want Shetland. We want Ferenene. Okay. Focus Navy, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Focus Navy. <laughs> So guys, what do you think about the Nintendo Direct? What? What's it? Don't don't mention the name of Nintendo, man. Shit. They'll sue you. Victor returns. So does victory. <laughs> I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. Oh goddamn, Victor. Did did you see what you did you see what you accomplished, Victor? Let's um, set up the blockade properly, so I can. Uh, I need a little bit more over here, and then we'll leave you guys in the Eastern Baltic, so I can. I know what we have to raid with. I actually want. Uh, what do we have over here? Six galleys. That should be enough to stop that. And I'm paying for my army, but I don't need to. This sucks. Uh, I don't really want to lose stab though. So I guess I'll just do that. And let's make sure we're rooting out that craft room. See you on that other island. Yeah, 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 yeah. Potato, potato. I can also occupy all of this actually. Because I'm uh, pretty sure Gotland's on the other side. But that's going to give me call for pizza, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's not do that yet. We'll wait. Because we got a lot of time right now. How's uh, Renaissance coming along? Well, I have a day 62. Seems good. We can go grab this. We can almost raid and then we can build our church. Okay. Seems uh, pretty optimal here. I'm uh, quite a bit over the naval force though. I want to get rid of these barks, because I, I just have too many of them. Let's not get rid of all of them, though. I want to maintain three. And yes, I'm speed fiving just to, just to stick it to Victor. That's right. That's exactly correct. Uh, actually, a lot of them only just came off cooldown because we're using light ships this time, so they're way faster. Perfect. I also got quite a bit more money this time around. Because I haven't occupied uh, all of that shit down there. 
And we've paid off our loans. Good. So, let's get rid of everything except three barks. Um, and start sieging him. I also don't, don't need to be over the force limit, so let's get rid of you. Paying for our fleet some, our, our thing somewhat, and I'm only paying a docket to be over the force limit. And this is fine, I'm happy with this. Yeah, everything's stable. We should have it all the time. Shit. Uh, I'll have this in fifth. I think I should get the dip guy now. Also, let's complicate this. Left ear fucked. Is the music too loud? Banana, banana, penis, vagina. I like to punch bananas in the face, but not on Monday. It shouldn't be too loud. But let me know. Is it okay? Bully Lubeck now? No? Okay, we got Colding? Um, uh, like I said, I kind of want to wait. A little bit longer. To get the maximum worst score. Because I'm, uh, I'm gonna need 800... 800? Or do we get the call out? I, I get the Explorer first, so I need 800 zip, yeah. And we should be raising War Texas, yes? Yes. Start teaching hold No! Because if I do that, I get called for pizza, and then we need to constantly uh, burn him. I don't want to do that. I might just grab it before Renaissance, honestly. But there's no point grabbing it before we got uh, 800 points. Tech 4? Ah, stab it. That's very unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. We have to go fix that. That's okay. I mean, we can get, um, we can get this stuff anyway. I don't have to pay for my army whilst we're waiting. So it's not. Loan incoming? Well, it's not no loans. I'm paying for this fourth. I'm paying for both of them, in fact. There you go. I was about to say, we should be making money here. But... Okay. That's the next one. Uh, I'm going to just do frequent elections. I'm not going to bother with the other thing. So we got the captains of power. I don't want that anymore. I want the buccaneers. So we've got 800 points now, and how close is Renaissance? I'm gonna try speeding it up a little bit by uh, boosting this. We'll have it in no time now. I just want to get there as fast as possible. Okay. God, so many bad events today. My god. It's like 10 months away, so let's go split up. And start the siege. <laughs> You're joking. Yeah, but we still need to like roll for the advisor, so... There you go, there's a renaissance. Let's go grab our first national idea. And we are grabbing Exploration. First in the world! Let's go! Alright, now I need my... Colonial Range guy. And also we need to somewhat pay for the army. A little bit. Okay. 
I don't think I'll be getting 100% from him here, but that's okay. Yeah, let's uh, reset this now. Also, definitely going on native repression. Yeah. Uh, do I have my colonial range guy yet? No, I don't. Come on, give it to me. There you go. Got the colonial range guys, so we're ready to peace out now. Aw oh, man, I'm gonna get there so fucking fast now. Yeah. Really nice. Also want to make sure that we win that naval battle real quick. Okay, cool, we did that. Perfect. So we got 75%, time to go piece him out. So I want these three provinces. And I want that thing. And other than that, I kind of want war up, but I doubt he'd be willing to give that to me. Yeah, no, he won't. Uh, I guess I'll just take flat money then, it's fine. Yeah, and the, the mission, sure, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with this. Let's do it. Alright, let's score it. No. What are you co <laughs> What are you coring? Core that. Okay, uh, now all of my boats get together. Take Bergen, raid the lowlands, raid it again. Yeah, 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 no. Alright, let's do a little bit of raiding over here. Okay, cool. How's the devastation? Uh, it's only 28, but we've got a fort here, which I guess we'll be paying for so it can uh, get rid of it. We can also set some rivals now. We can rival Denmark, we can rival Livonia and Lubeck. And I want my barks together with an explorer. Who wants to find the new world for me? But fuck the first attempt. Portugal. And the second attempt too. <laughs> but uh, today, what, what the problem was, was I conquered Iceland instead of uh, Ferenenenene. And it turns out Ferenenenene was the important province. So that's what screwed me over. Why am I losing three dockets a month right now? Huh. Yeah, I don't need this many transport ships. So let's get rid of some of those. And maybe some of the galleys too. Yeah, a little bit. I don't want to go crazy. Either. Besides, my force limit will increase soon. Yeah, we keep that man. And also, I want to build a temple. We are paying for the navy, right? Yeah, and we don't need to pay for these. Good. We've paid off the entire debt. Seems good. Don't forget the core. Yeah, I just got the points for it. I did not mean to get that. Mercantil is in there. Okay. So he's finished doing the North Atlantic, he can't explore anything else until we finish this core. Which we just did. So now you can go explore the Caribbean Sea region, let's go. I could have taken uh, Hjaltland, sure. Uh, the reason why I didn't want to take Orkney is because I don't want to constantly need to fight Great Britain, and if I take that, I'm gonna end up doing that. Also, if I took Ozil, I'm gonna need to constantly defend myself against the Moscovites. It's very hard difficulty with no allies. You can't do shit like that unless you're prepared to fight them all the time, which I'm not prepared to do. I, I do wanna statify this, but there we go. Let's statify it now. Also, core it. 
Need to pay for our army now because the rebellion's about to happen. It's gonna spawn 11k Danish guys. So let's get ourselves that free company. And they're going to spawn on Shayland. There we go. Let's wait a little bit. And then we can stop him. Right, Buccaneers are back in power. That's what I wanted to see. Yeah, let's click that thing. Okay. Probably beat this now, especially if we sortie. There we go. Perfect. Right, let's get rid of that free company, and you guys can go explore the American East Coast. I don't really care. New units look nice. Uh, those are standard private units, actually. <laughs> oh, and the state maintenance is screwing me up, so let's turn this off. There you go. Saves me 0.20 dockets a month, which is nothing to be sniffed at. Why do my troops have no helmets? Because it's hot in the Caribbean. I don't know. Because we're poor pirates. Overseas exploration. We should now be able to reach all the way into the Caribbean. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Sweden's free? Oh, shit. You might think that's good, but that's definitely not good. Alright, go explore the Caribbean Sea. They allied each other? What the fuck? For farm Frederick Anderson. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, uh, I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, I do want to raid again, though. That is so cursed. They actually allied. Oh, I can't raid a lot of this because we've got two sis, but... I can certainly raid this bit. There we go. So with that money we can now build another temple on Shaylan. I mean, why not? Don't want to statify that. And ladies and gentlemen, we can see the Caribbean. And Portugal's not there because they don't... Probably don't even have expiration yet. They just got expiration too. Yeah, that's right. Come back. I need you to find Bermuda. Yes. Go find Bermuda. Caribbean coast. Yes. 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 Okay, finally, we made it to Bermuda. Okay, awesome. Epic. So, focus is still on admin. I want to keep it that way. Um, yeah. Also, if he dies, we're going to be electing admin guys now. Viking wants to colonize Greenland, then revoke the colonists immediately. What? Why would you want me to do that? What is the reason behind this? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing Vicky 3 and I'm also definitely going to be streaming it. Yes. Now, do I need to, like, land units there? Maybe. Also, when's the Tush with Denmark over? Six years from now. Huh. Uh, sure, let's bring the units over there. Yeah, we might have an uprising. I don't know, because this is frontier, so it's kind of a special province. Also, there's no natives here. So there's nothing that can rise up. But at least this way we can start recovering our troops. Right, the explorer died. Uh, that means we'll want a new one. Who wants it? Heerlijk verfrissend. Ik 
go explore that. That's fine. Okay. Admin guy? No. Can I actually reach this? No, no, no. I need I need to have Bermuda finish first. Yeah. Which is gonna is growing but like what ten a month or fifteen a month. Uh, let's get that higher developed colonies. And do I start my golden era now? Uh, I think so, because now is the time where I want to beat Portugal. So I really want those techs unlocked quickly. And I also definitely want land of opportunity and all that. Did you take a hundred native uprising chance? No, no, I took the kill the natives. Or native oppression. Cool. Five to fifteen a month. Uh, okay. Oh, and so it's random. Yeah. Okay. The plan is definitely to move to the new world. Yes. I'm gonna destroy this fort now. No longer need that. I can switch into some new units. And how is the E doing? Okay, this is almost rateable again. 71. Yeah, sure, use the map I don't care. Okay, that's tech 6. Real close to tech 7 now for expansion ideas. I don't want to pay for my army anymore. Did you watch Viking? Yeah, but why did you want me to colonize Greenland? I, I need a Y here. He, he doesn't have Cape Verde. Maybe if I grab Bermuda, I can join that, and then they'll stay out of uh, they'll stay out of the Caribbean for a little bit longer. It's from a mission Gotland has. What? No, it doesn't. There's no mission to colonize that. Why do you want me to colonize it? Okay, fine, I'll co-colonize it. You want me to colonize it and then abandon it? Alright, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Alright. I've colonized it. And I've abandoned it. Oh, he didn't say abandon it. Okay, so colonize it. And then check the culture? It's Swedish. I'm not going to Greenland. I'm escaping to the Caribbean because the Scandinavian weather sucks ass. Start looking for clubs, sure. Uh, Bermuda's almost done. Bermuda's almost done. We've almost made our landing, let's go. Now, which one is the first province we go for? I don't know. Dominica? I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> what? It didn't grow at all. Okay, there you go. Yes! Send colonists! And drop the guys, like, quickly before my navy completely dies. Right, now in three years' time, the Danes are going to start to fight us again. We're going to want to do two colonies at once, for sure. I need Trinidad eventually, yeah. Okay, and we're in. Uh, do I attack the natives or do I let them live, actually? Because if I let them live, they're going to give me goods produced. I could even... 
get the estate soon to get even more uh, native assimilation. But if I kill them, I don't have to pay for my army. Alright, well, I think that's an easy solution. Uh, let's go attack another thing. And we'll send another one. Cape Verde? I don't think I can reach Cape Verde. Also, Portugal's already there. No, I wouldn't be able to reach Cape Verde. Alright, come on, buddy. Get in there. There we go. Uh, did we assault those two? Yes, we did. So we can stop paying for this. Now, we're spending quite a bit on colonial maintenance, but we can maintain that by raiding. Yeah? And if Denmark fights me again, we'll take uh, we'll take that Geltland province, yeah? Okay, good. Get back into this. Uh, we could explore some more, I guess, but... Yeah, I, I kind of want to see the rest of the Caribbean, sure. Alright, good news. How's my economy? I, I'd like to stab up... Not really. No, I'm not going to stab up because as soon as we get to uh, expansion, the better. Oh, you little shit. <laughs> yeah, keep him, keep him. Missed some Irish loot? Did I? No. No, I missed nothing. Uh, I'm missing the... Muscovites, though. And once the Tuesday is over with Denmark, we can raid some more. I don't know if my 20 galleys are going to be enough to beat this combined navy. It should be enough. In fact, we might even be able to beat them on the land, but that's a bit of a tall order. Kill Kareem? Uh, no. No, I don't think we should. Okay. Pretty close to getting free colonies. Yeah, I don't want to lose my dip here. He might not call in Sweden. Oh, he's going to call in Sweden. So actually, if you get the production efficiency guy, you get higher settler chance. So, it's very minor, but it's a little bit. Because uh, production efficiency affects how much settler chance you have. Alright. Yeah, so the amount of production efficiency you have determines your settler chance. So if you get the production efficiency guy, you get a little bit of a boost. So my production efficiency is 34. So the 10% that I'm getting from this guy is, uh, uh, I don't know, like 2% more settler chance. So it's very minor, but what actually is a big boon is being ahead in admin tech. So yeah, we know things. <laughs> I thought that was kind of common knowledge, but it feels good to teach people some things from time to time. It's nice. Right, we can raid a whole bunch more. This is very dangerous, by the way, because I'm leaving Shayland undefended. And he will declare. Hands down. There's no question about it. He's going to declare. Let's get half of them to do Sweden. And there's our next thing. Now, one of these helps with colonizing, no? No. Well, I'm going to get this thing. Yeah, and then we're gonna get the religious state. I need to get the clergy land rights. And I guess we'll seize. Sweden's gonna declare soon. Do you see that? He's coming. Do you see that? Did you see that? We have an estate? Yes, pirates get an estate now. Okay, cool. So we have the higher developed colonies. I think next up, what do we do next? Uh, I wonder what happens if we do the free war taxes. We're probably going to end up not m making mill anymore from that. Uh, so... I guess I'll get the adaptive combat rate or something. <laughs> Maybe we will be fighting mostly in coastland. Yeah, I'll take the extra admin.
And uh, our force limit is 12. Kind of happy with the seven guys we got over there. But let's go build a little bit. So that's the subject for Norway. I don't think I want to join Norway yet. And I definitely don't want to kill Karib, actually. Because I've got a very important job for Karib. In fact, I'm not going to guarantee him. No, I'll stay alive. Can I raid Norway? Uh, yeah, there is a little bit. Watch me raid this, and then he declares the war. And then my boats will be AFK. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Okay, we could get this now, but I'm gonna get it in January. And then we can do three colonies at once. <laughs> Burgundy got inherited by Mecklenburg. Pep the laugh. December. Okay. And January. Cool. Go grab that and expansion. Yeah. Now get your filthy hands off of my Don't touch this, okay? This land is my land, Portugal. My land. Get out. Go for Brazil. Go to Brazil. He only has one colony. Colonist. Does he have the age objective? Yeah, he does. Filthy Portugal. Disgusting. Go for Brazil. Yeah. Extra colonist. Send him out. I wasn't paying for my army, so that looked like a 1.33 battle there. But there's already a country with green. Yeah, I don't care. He has a color CB in that case. Really surprised Denmark isn't going for me. Very surprised. You know how eager he was earlier? And now he's just like, sitting there. I could declare war on him for Bordel. Um, you waste money and good, dot dot dot. I don't know what good means. I waste money and good. Good what? Good relations? Okay, we can raid southern bit. Oh, goods produced because I killed the navy, uh, the natives. Yeah, but it's 0.13 goods produced. It's very minor. And uh, during that entire time, I need to pay for the army there. So I don't want to do that. I mean, I guess I could not pay for the army. Leave Borno and the future lies in the west. The future does lie in the west, and I have absolutely zero idea of actually, t uh, zero plans of actually taking Borno. But if I fight, I could steal his money. He's on tech fucking four, dude. He's on tech four. The thing is, if I don't maintain a truce with him, he will murder me. That's the issue I have with this. Ugh. Shit. Oh! <laughs> well, that problem solved itself. What dip tech is he on with your dip tech 3? Oh shit, yeah, that's right. Uh, I still think we'll beat him. Oh god. Uh... As long as he doesn't have dip tech 7. Okay, he's dip tech 3. Fine. As long as he doesn't have dip tech 7, we'll be good. And uh, I kind of want plus 1 stab. So I won't get the settler increase until over here. This one's big. It's 10% settler chance. It's gonna make a big deal. Yeah. And I can maintain this without debt because nice. 
uh, because of raiding. Yeah, once we unlock the, another colonist, I'll do, start to do four provinces. Or once we've colonized a little bit over here, we'll start to do four provinces. God damn it. Am I gonna be teching up soon? No. Raid Iceland? I'm not sure if I even want to sail over there for the one docket that that gets me. I mean, it's one month of- You know what? I'll wait. I'll wait until this is synced up. Okay. Move the capital yet? Uh, what? Almost. Okay. Almost. Really hoping. I don't know what Portugal's colonizing. Yes! He went for Africa. He went for Africa. So we have time. This is good. Yes. This Caribbean is mine now. Yes. Yes. Alright, cool, cool, cool. What I kind of want to do is fix my peepee. -pee. Um, in order to do that, we're going to need Tortuga. And also, I'm going to need light ships, but my naval force of this should be about to skyrocket. Uh, and then we can start building some lights. Like, a lot of lights. In fact, I want my lights home already and tell them to start privateering in uh, Lubeck. And our first colony is finished. Beautiful Martinique, and I can statify this. Yes. And this is now my only state in this area. So, we can also start another colony. Let's do it. And yeah, for wasting the money and the good, I will not assault these natives. It's gonna give me 0 0.05 goods produced. Sure. Alright. Uh... We can set a new rival here. We can rival Sweden and Lubeck. And then let's embargo these people. I'd like to embargo you. I'd also like to embargo you. And I'd also like to embargo you. Viking Settle will give you the Norse Zealots that you need. The Greenland colonist might help you with the Zealots you need. Might. What? Send me a message in the banana channel. 0.5 dockets, it's 0.5 dockets. It's not even 0.5 dockets, it's 0.05. It, it. Actually, it's probably a little bit better than that. But. All right, we can get our merchant, and we're going to be collecting from trade in the Caribbean, because this place will be valuable next. He's trying to imply that... I mean, I've had like 50 different ways of adding Greenland. Why do you need me to have Greenland done? Wait, hold on. Hold on. But why, why, why would I need Greenland for that? I can just get Carib. Like, 
these aren't these aren't animist. These are totemist. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna show you the banana channel. Don't be crazy. All right, what do we get here? Treasure fleet income and yeah. Okay. Cool. So we could actually move our capital to the new world right now. Um, if I went for a fourth colony, but I think I'll just wait for this thing to finish. And then we're moving our capital immediately to the Caribbean because it's a defensible position, yeah? And I'll move it to Tortuga. Wait, no, I can't. Because I've already statified this, so we have to move it here first. I take took a loan. Uh, I'm about to be able to raid again, but... And I, I need a whole bunch more pirates now. So we're going into debt now. Yeah, we can afford that, why not? Well, why not? It's because we were about to unlock this. Faster colonies. Let's go. Yeah, keep him. The capital will be moved to Tortuga at a later date. First, I want to fix my PP and all that. Alright, so we got St. Lucia. So now we go to Tortuga. Uh, which means I need my cogs to go bring these over to Tortuga. You're scared of this music? Please help. Don't be scared. It is fine. We can get... Uh, I don't know, just fight wars thing. I don't think I'll be conquering much land in the semi-near future, but... Okay, so we're on top of Tortuga. I should be able... Yeah, so that's five provinces. Pirates of the Caribbean. Gotland is the island of our origin, a port many of us name their trusted home. But we would be fools if we pretended that it has a better climate than the tropical islands of the Caribbean. Many of our men yearn for relocating to our, our main port of these islands for several reasons. Yes, Bermuda becomes a new capital. Perfect. Now, this is not part of a state. So now I should be able to move it to Mart. No, I can't. Okay, so I need Trinidad for that. Yeah, okay. Shit. That means I have to unstate this. Yeah, yeah we wasted 47 am in there. That sucks. Uh, it's, it's good that we know that, though. It's good that we know that. Yeah, so I, I need to colonize Trinidad, and then we can move it there. And then it won't matter anymore. So that made me lose all these rivals, and now we can only rival Denmark. Kind of smelly. Kind of stinky. Uh, anyway, the worst pirate. The art of insults to the end of the game. 10% morale of armies, 10% morale of navies, and 100% PP. So now, if I scornfully insult the Danes, I get 25 PP. Yes. BP fixed. Uh, a CN won't form in North America, but it could form in South America. So what I want to do is not have that. You know? Pretty sure it can form in South America. Because it's not in a colonial region. It's one of those weird in-between places. I don't think I want to see him here. So I'm just going to go colonize this. As soon as we have a another colonist. So we got Timber, and Denmark is dying to Poland in the Polish conquest of Mammal. Wow. Can't believe Sweden would actually defend this. <laughs> that means that we're kind of relatively safe, so we can stop paying for this. Yeah. Yeah, seems good. Also, my state maintenance is skyrocketed. Why do I want my capital in Trinidad? Because now, then I will never get CNs. Ever. Alright, why can I raid again? I want these to be synced up. So I'll wait another year and then we can just do everything at once. Also, we have some more pirate, or uh, more ships over here. Now, what do I need for the scourge of the, this? Yeah, I need a whole bunch of privateers for that. So 
So I want to go privateer in uh, the Baltic, actually, is where we need to be for this mission. And maybe I should pay for them? Okay. Very close to unlocking my next colonist. Seems good. Oh! Pog. Uh, I'll take the money, thank you. No, I don't want my smugglers in power. What are you doing? Here, maybe I can get cheaper to lo loans from the Pope. Yeah, seems good. And my naval force limit is 34 now. So it seems good. Um, I need to redo my merchants. It doesn't make that make much of a difference. I mean, we're making two, so something. But pretty soon, most of our trade is going to be made in the Caribbean anyway. Because right now, this doesn't produce anything. But once we start, this co once those colonies start to finish, uh, it's all going to be fine and dandy. And we can finally start to catch up in Diptech. Seems good. No! Alright, Portugal's here. We will fight him for this. Yeah. We will fight him for this. Do we completely abandon Europe? Maybe not completely. But I think mostly we need to abandon Europe. So... Because we got so much potential for growth in the new world, and this is always going to be a liability. But that does mean that we'll have to protect uh, Bermuda. The thing is, I need these provinces so I can raid. I just missed one. Gotland easily defensible as an island. Yeah, but not easily if you also need to defend... Um, if you also need to defend... this. Lazy colonist? Yeah. Are you forming something? If we're forming something, it's going to be the United States of America. Because it's really... Do we expel the... Do we expel the Danes? Well, yeah, let's expel the Danes to Trinidad. Why not? United States? Uh, wait, do we have another free... Diplomat or uh, dude? Hold on, let me recall you. Where is that wonder again? It's in Pes it's in this, right? This is where the Great Wonder is. I'll quickly go colonize this to show you why the United States is really good for a pirate. So, yeah, it's this thing. Quickly go arrive here so I can show you the one there. You have two navies, five hit. I can't show you the one there until it's done. Uh, ah, okay, fine. I'll just go colonize it. We want three colonies anyway. Oh, it locks the colony? All oh, right, yeah, it does. Yeah, now I can't abandon it. But it's gonna get colonized really fast, so... So we brought extra dudes from Europe. Still I like it, Sweden. Um, I don't really want to abandon it. Probably. 
Yeah, we pretty much have to. How quickly is that colony progressing, by the way? Yeah, really fast. And what are we colonizing? Yeah. I'm gonna need a dude. You know what? Fuck that. Okay, I'm uh, assaulting the natives, okay? Because I can't constantly keep babysitting, babysitting this. Especially not during war. We know how that cookie crumbles. It just It's, it's not gonna work. Uh, pretty sure because it's tribal before, yeah. Right, maybe not go through so many open seas, thank you. I don't know, do we completely abandon Europe? I'll leave one galley behind, but... Protecting this is more important. I don't know if we can even beat the Portuguese Navy with just my galleys. That's kind of the thing. Kinda need heavies for that. Also, what's your tech? He's on dip tech 6, so if we want to fight him, now will be the time to do it. What's your dip tech? 5. Wait, did you... <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, my eyes! I can't... He just penetrated Castile. Oh, that is... Okay, then. Or do I take the loans, build 10 heavies, protect the, this with galleys, and protect the Portugal with... Yeah, you know what, let's do that. Right? I'm gonna build like 10 heavies, which is gonna cost me 4 ducats a month, but it'll all pay back for itself. Or maybe an like 8th. So we can use that to protect Caribbean. We'll have to go a little bit into debt for this, but I think it's it's gonna buff out. Because if this land gets occupied, I'll lose all my income and then we can't take loans and then we'll go bankrupt. During this war. Wait, why am I doing it like this? So he's gonna finish the colony, that's fine. Shipyards? I don't need shipyards. Now, I can't statify this land yet, until after we uh, colonize Trinidad. So... That's... and we won't be, get more powerful until that happens. So let's do it like this, and we'll leave the galleys home. Yeah, stay home. I think you already got a lot of like Yeah, and every single province is uh, 13 development, so it's pretty good. Yeah, I won't be able to yoink this, but at least I have a CB and we'll get a ticking war score and all that sexy stuff, so. Any prison colonies? No. Uh, I, I expelled the minority on one thing, though, if that's what you mean. Okay, Portugal rival me. That means we can rival them right back. Stinky Portugal. Uh, let me go embargo you. And could we send our trade fleet? To go privateer in Sevilla. I just barely can't reach it. But what I want to do here, the grand scheme of this, is to... You can go protect in the Caribbean. Is to, from that war in Portugal, grab Madeira, which I should be able to reach now. Uh, I will once we hit Diptech 7, and then we can do the Mediterranean missions, which uh, is going to give me tons and tons of bonuses. I'm on a clock. I need to keep neutering him. So yeah, I'm on a clock, yes, in a way. The galleys can hold the old world. The heavies will hold the new. But I would also very much like this province to be finished before he gets five provinces, but I think we can. I think we can. 
And we almost get another colonist, which is also going to increase the settler chance by 5%. There's tech 4. Keep Niels, give me admin, thank you. Extra colonist. So I could do another colony. Um, let's do Barbados. The heavy ships are done. I don't have to pay for my navy right now. So I'm losing a lot of money here, but trust me, it's worth it. Pee-pee? Pee-pee's doing what Pee-pee does. I, I can't fix my Pee-pee. Because Insulted Rival is a double-edged sword. Now I also can't use it until it's completely gone, so... Now the only rival is down. I guess we could tell these guys to go privateer in uh, Lubeck. Will that get me some PP? A little bit. I do want you to keep those in power. Are you gonna survive? Oh my god! Shit. So the war is actually not going to start for a while. And he's colonizing the second thing now. Does he need like five provinces or does he need... Uh, yeah, he needs like five provinces. Oh my god, the stab hit though. Fuck off. I'm going to try boosting this a little bit. Age of Dracula for Devon College? I have that. I have that. But what I need is Trinidad, and then we'll go declare the war. Because I don't want my capital to be in Bermuda, because then I'll need to pay weight. Like, protecting this and constantly need to go through open sea, I don't want to do that. Like, that's really bad. You can get a little bit of money like this. I know, I see him colonizing a whole bunch of stuff. So we really need to hurry up, but... I think we can get Trinidad before he does. Before he finishes his colonies. And we have a morale of navies guy available. And how are the heavies doing? Because we should be building another set. Yeah. Okay, there's my next thing. Um, I need the guff cap increase. It might not look like it, but trust me, I need it. And now these colonies are going real brrr. Like they're finishing so quickly now. Okay, let's get everyone in there. Uh, make sure you're muffled. Yes. And there's expansion finished. So now we can do colonial expansion. I still want it on the thing. Native repression crap. I could flip into this and there'd be 0%. And I'd get a little bit more goods produced, but I think I still want it on this because the more, most important thing is that I uh, secured a development here. Lunas Rain, thank you for something for 17 months in a row. Tip matter to you, sir. Have I been doing estate land stuff? Yes, I've got estates. No, I've got one estate. I've got the clergy. Right, so just Trinidad finishes and then we can go. Then we'll go declare the war. It really sucks about my PP, but my PP is going to increase after this Portuguese war. And how's the tech? Yeah, getting there. Alright, so Piscataway Away is done, so I can show you why this place is great for a pirate. So they changed the way this works. So now we have re-election cost reduction, reform progress growth, and states governing costs, they get 25%. So that's going to be really good for us. The only issue is we need to be the United States to use this. Now I can just form the United States, that's fine. But then I lose the Gottnish mission tree. So even if we're going for this, we would go for this later, right? But, uh, yeah, 25% governing ca capacity cost. You need to realize what that means, okay? That is a global 25% discount in terms of governing capacity on all of your states. That is completely fucking bonkers, okay? It's really good. No, it won't merge with it. I, 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 I tested it. I tested it. It won't merge. 
Uh, we got enough time to wait for the next year for Tech 8. And we gotta pay for everything now. Yeah. Only losing 6 ducats a month right now with 3 colonies. Seems good. Uh, obviously we're only losing 6. So let's go colonize... Go to Loop. Or maybe Aruba. Yeah. And... Go land over there. Also we should probably unlock all my ships. Trinidad is done, so we increase the development here, and we also get three development from finishing the colony from the age objective. So this place is now 17 development. Pog. And I should just be able to move the capital here. Yeah, once we have enough for admin, we can move it. And then I can statify my other land, and then my economy is gonna go... Because I, I just got like 100 development in this area for free. Right? Yeah, I should probably accept Danish. One sec. Alright, we can also do go to loop. So, it, is what, what, expel minority free now? Or like, because I didn't see any points being spent there. I'm not sure. Portugal's at war with Morocco, Sally, and Tunis. Interesting. Okay, so he's finished two. I wonder where he's sending out his other colonies. We'll want to yoink that first and foremost. Ah, uh, expiration makes it free. Okay. Fair enough. So I wonder the Admiral, who wants it? Make Danish the primary culture. Pretty sure it has some naval stuff. Uh, fucking Nefa, how do you have this many points? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah, no, that's right. Do we do we make uh, that capital uh, the primary culture? Do we turn Danish now? See, a lot of people saying, ew, we stay Swedish? Do you want to be banned from Paradox Con? Okay, we'll stay Swedish. <laughs> Flurry cancelled. I, I think we're good to go now. I do want my navy to be fully repaired though, so we'll have to wait for that. But, I mean, it'll take him some time to get over here. Do I have marines? Yeah, I do. Give me the marine. No, no, I should repair my bolts, dude. Oh, yeah, we need to change the capital. Jesus, thank you so much. Uh, but I also need to then move the trading capital to the Caribbean. And then maybe funnel the trade from Panama into this. Okay, so now Denmark's no longer a valid rival target, and Denmark is again a valid rival target, and so is Portugal. It's also January, so we can grab Pike and Shot. Can I afford to wait another six months? I don't think I can. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going in. We're going in, okay. We're fighting the Portuguese. My navy over here is ready. I want you to go home during war. I want you to step out of the vehicle. You're still repairing. A capitals in Trinidad, which we will defend with our lives. Oh, we can statify everything now. Uh, this I won't statify. This will add to a TC. Yeah. Adding that to TC gives me extra naval force on it. And now that I've statified all those things, my naval force is actually okay. So we're not going to be spending that much on this. Okay. My biggest expense is still going to be colonies. Colonists. 
colonies, yes. So he's got one, two, three, four guys, and he's gonna send out a second one soon. Alright. Portugal! England is a wee bit of a problem. They've got Diptech 7. Whereas we're on 6. I do have my morale of navies guy, but we'll need to pay very close attention to this. This is gonna be a hard war. Okay. Very hard war, but our capital is in Trinidad, and all we gotta do is protect our capital. That is it! Protect the capital, fuck the Portuguese. That is all we have to do. All right, let's go in. And I'll need to pay very close attention to this. Like, I don't want him to sink this. But he shouldn't have any reason to go there anyway. And I would like a free colonist. Let's get you out. Come on, boys! Okay, England's being England. Yoink! Send a colonist! And keep coring my shit. Boom! Swedish now. Fantastic. Uh, any more colonies? No, but we do need to send out the marines to go over to Puerto Rico. Tortuga's done. State him a fight. And now that we've finished uh, expansion ideas. Uh, we can move over to dip focus. Yeah, this thing is not even- I'm gonna let him colonize. We might wanna let this war go on for a very long time. I know Zui is a colony, but I'm gonna let him grow. Because he's Portugal. He's got super overpowered colonial crap. He wants to keep colonizing the Caribbean. Whilst I'm at war with him, I can steal that. So I can colonize the Caribbean really fast. Because I'm effectively employing his colonists. Copy, copy. Now whilst I'm here, and this is the only field that I need to pay attention to, because... Because... Because my capital's here. The only thing that could be potentially bad is if he decides to sail over here, which I hope he doesn't, but these four provinces generate still generate a large part of my economy, so I don't want to lose this. Also, this is the place where I can raid, so I want to keep this, but it seems that the British Navy is stable there. Now, what we need to worry about is the Spanish Armada. Because they are coming. And they bring guns. And tortillas. And we don't like tortillas. What about rum? We like rum. I, I'm pretty sure I fucked the sound here. Let's get this out of the way. Ah! Alright, seems good. Nobody expects us better. And now, ladies and gentlemen, now, now, we, after we win this war, I can get feckin' the thing. I can go into the Caribbean and I can show you the most fun missions of Scotland, because we can. Do the great heist of the Korea's coffers. Which. <laughs> it's gonna be real nice.
Okay. This wasn't pirate music, by the way, and people who said this was spooky were right, because this is spooky music, magical music, and dark music. We get back to the What's this? Alright, here's a new one. Now, it's not gonna be easy, but follow me and try to keep up. Uh, stop it. The one thing you need in this pirate game is an infamous, notorious, legendary name. A status that precedes you up and down the bank. Someday I'll join these villainous ranks. Looks like Henry Morgan with all his greed, and Captain James and Mary Reed. Old Captain Sharp and Charles Vane, and the brethren that ruled the main. Israel hands before Teach shot him, and Captain Link before they caught him. Fletcher Fly, and DuBerry, Collier Mings, and Daniel Perry. Hall and Hoare, and Joseph Dawson, Sonny Chris, and Edward Lawson, Pell and Power and Prouse and Peace and every dog that scoured the seas! <laughs> Jamaica is getting colonized. Perfect. Did, did you? Is this all gonna have lyrics? Nice. Spooky music was fitting whenever you pondered about switching to Danish culture. Why do people One hate the Danes so much? Pirate game is an infamous, notorious, legendary name. A status that precedes you up and down. down I'm digging this. I'll join these villainous ranks. Not sure I get. Th I can use this. This is by the Jolly Rogers. And don't forget old Bully Hayes. There's Captain Quelch who sailed with Austin, but both of them are hanged in Boston. Porter Grand and Roger Ball. Powell Gibbs and Big John Fall. Captain Prince All right, hold on. Let me link you their channel. We still count Drake like Reed and so Rowan you can listen to this when you're Captain playing golf. And all the rest. So there. there you go. I don't think this is DMCA, but I think they make it themselves. <laughs> well, obviously it's still going to be DMCA, but that's why I'm linking them. But they're probably not going to have a bot. Checking One thing you need in this Twitch. Game is an infamous, notorious, legendary name. This song has 47, 45k views in it. Yeah. good times. But we'll see if it gets muted. It's a cool song though. Vile Laser, thank you so much for 66 months in a row. Tip metal to you, sir. Alright, so we're ready. We can go take out Chewie now. I still don't see any- Oh god. This song is called The Fight, also by the Jolly Rogers. We One of my a bunch of wild sea devils. Two of my boats are sinking. Flag. We can't retreat yet. We disengaged? The Shrewsbury is sinking? Come on, sink the Shrewsbury. The Saint is sinking? I think we got this. I think we got this. We all geared up and armed the ship for the diet had been cast. We showed them all that we had the gold. Mortister's done? I got this. There's no way I don't. With a laugh, we chose a path that would someday change the world. We need no Boom. plan to make us stand as the sails they were unfurled. We captured nine cogs. Across the seas and little uh, let's go repair the damage boats. I need the message world. setting. Uh, for naval combat. Navy. Naval? Ships? When one of our navies is attacked by the enemy, yeah, pause the game. With powder and shot, their blood we yeah. sought and burned them Thank to you. the ground. With a laugh, we chose a path that would someday change. <laughs> My lone size went we up dramatically no right now. I got a lot of loans from building all those heavy ships. Yeah, we need to keep a very close eye out on these provinces, because he's, he's got two colonists, right? Oh no, he's got three, so he's colonizing something else, too. Okay, but he's only doing these two here. Yeah, he's doing Jamaica, I know, but... It'll take some time for him to actually 
finish that. Whilst we're fighting this war, we might not want to go over the limit. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Okay. England is now in 1492 during the War of the Roses. What the hell? Uh. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. Like frightened children as their ships went up in flames. Some were burned, some we shot, some at the And let's go send them out. Mercy they begged at their last breath, and each did we dismiss. So to you thieves and pretend. So for now, we're safe. He's not landing on me. You should know before. We can actually maybe stop paying for the army. But here are this compromise on which we should agree. Keep your weak and on the land for we pirates. I'm only five ships over the limit. Yeah, we can delete some of those calls. We chose a path that would someday change the world. We'd need no plan to make us stand as the sails they were unfurled. And how's the rating doing? It's almost off cooldown. Compromise on which we should agree. Keep your weak For now, things are going really well. We pirates rule the sea. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Now he's got cotton. It actually seems like uh, this is going faster than that one. I finished Barbados, so we can do Antigua now. We'll have to go assault that real quick. No, I don't want this. Yes. I missed a sub, so sorry. Master Fallen, thank you for gifting five subs, man. Tip, 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 tip. And T R four M W four J. Thank you so much for Prime Game, man. Tip matter to you, sir. Did you know that EU four tags on Steam say simulation strategy anti nudity? God damn. Isn't that since Leviathan? Oh, by the way, guys, I have to show you something. One second. One second, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Look at that! Leviathan shirt! <laughs> the best EU4 shirt! <laughs> Where's the anime body pillow? Uh, they also- well, hold on, there's also some other- <laughs> Da, 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 da
The merch, the merch. <laughs> I like the bathroom stream. Uh, wait, hold on, I'm removing the wrong can. <laughs> Let's go. Wrong hat. Oh shit, yeah, that's right. Lol, old guy reference. Lol, lol, lol. Lol, fly so old. Okay, fine. I was role playing as Logan Paul. Um, my spy never contains an upward bowler. Yeah, that's fair enough. Fair point. Wait, do you not have a. Oh my god. You know what's gonna happen. You know what's gonna. We gotta do it now. We got, we got to do it, okay? You know what's gonna happen? English will leave. Castilians will leave. We're gonna land an army in Ceuta. And then we're gonna quickly bum rush Lisboa. With Marines. Because he doesn't have a fort there. I only need like 10k. <gasps> Fort's located? Okay, it's the English. It's fine. We're good. Assholes? Yes, old ass. Leviathan has the 10% rating on scene. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think the features were great, honestly. That the patch was just the absolute dog shit. Twenty minute adventure in and out. That's ah, gonna take like five seconds. Gotta believe, okay. I don't want to be late for this. Look at that set. Okay, they had a chance to land on me. Uh, they still have that until we get tech, dip, uh, dip Deck 7 and then it's all Jover for them. Kill natives. Fair point. I'll wait till it hits 800 and then we'll start landing on them. Where's my marine? Uh, Abba Fleur, thank you so much for five, four months in Roman. Tip matter to you, sir. I'll wait one more month before we go. Yeah. Don't know why I'm suddenly all into mercantilism. It's still ass. Yeah. Let's go land there. 175 a year now! What the fuck? I need a free colonist? Wait a minute. Hold. It's too early still. I'm being so greedy with this. All right, now we gotta take it. <laughs> you guys also need to sit there. Yoink! What else is he colonizing? He's nothing, he's colonizing nothing over here anymore. Yeah, it is an absurd amount. Did you arrive yet? Yoink! Wait. How much is growing a month? Yeah, we can wait. We can wait. To the absolute last second. Yoink! 
Oh, uh, we do need some troops in there. Good Portuguese. Good job. 60% settler chance. <laughs> what is this man? Uh, Swedish now? Oh! Here they come. The Spanish Armada is landing 2,000 units on Trinidad. Yeah, this is probably realistic if they wanted to invade pirate capital, but sure. Um, we've got the captains in power. Let's try fighting that. Do you have tech 7? No. So we can try it. Let's do it. Oh, he's got fucking Odon the... Whoa, whoa, wow, whoa, wee, whoa, holy guacamole. That is a lot of... That is a lot of pips. But, uh... Oh, you know what I say? You know what I say about admirals? You know what I say about admirals? Okay, this is Swedish. That is also Swedish. Perfect. We can core it. Admirals are a scam. Okay. Uh, I don't need to disband boats anymore. What are you doing? Just uh, going into the Mona Passage, doing a little blockading. Hmm? We do a little trolling. Is there a reason why you don't build a flagship? Yes, money. It's expensive. <laughs> That's it. That's the tweet. Okay, so we can send our colonists back over to Antigua. There's no need to keep him lazy, dilly-dallying, not doing anything. Jamaica's done. Arigato goshishimas. Stop being poor. I'm working on it, man. I'm gaining development faster than you could possibly integrate it right now. Like, this is good. Spending all my admin on full coring this land. <laughs> Barely keeping up with my uh, my stuff there. My stuff there? My guff cap. Steal Spanish colonies. Yesterday you set tomorrow. You should get to the point where anyone else would quit. You're not gonna stop there. Let's go to Brazil. I forgot to take that money. I'm almost making money now. This Cox will die. Shun the non-believer! Shun him! Uh, which one's closest? Oh! No! Por qué? Yeah, we should recruit more marines. Are you coming into my face? Oh! I need a free diplomat. 
Uh, free merchant. I need two of them. Oh, ride me, ride me, super tight. Boom, boom, shake the room like it's dynamite. Doink! Yeah, we're fine. Doink! <laughs> epic! Epic! Let's go! <laughs> And we get to sink his navy again. Perfect. Oh no! Porque no? I got I got debated. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're we're, we're alive. What? I can't retreat yet. Alright, just retreat. And don't get attacked by the natives, please. Dutch stealing colonial PR <laughs> historical gameplay. <laughs> Fuck man, I love Gotland so much. This is so much fun, honestly. You should really try this. <laughs> Alright, let's go up north and go to this. <laughs> oh no, what are you doing? Stop it. No. Don't do that. Uh yeah, we're dead. These troops are dead. F for the Haitian first regiment. Wait, they're still alive! They're still alive! We can save them! Wait, stop, 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 stop. I got some really damaged boats up on this. Go repair. Look at that! He's been colonizing it for like 10 months! Look at that progress. That's insane. Alright, now let's go find those, um... Castilians. Okay, so the Portuguese Navy is nothing to sniff at. They must have Diptek 7. They might even have 8. No, he's on 7. Chase after him, please. Are we winning? I don't know who's me. This is me. It's fairly equal right now. Okay. We hit the mass of the northern Srada and Sarnassau and the Yalil. Yalil is at 69, 65, 61. 56 52 Events can really suck on my dick dude like I fucking hate events so much Nostra? Nostra Senora, okay Urlix da- Send in, send in the uh, reinforcements Ah, uh, 5 to 3 Come on Ingerman Lund, score some fucking goals Sink the phoenix, come on, sink it. Sink it! Sink it! Alright, we got this. My god, he knows how to fight, Jesus! But now he's dead. What a rough battle! What a rough battle! That was actually unbelievably rough. I don't need these many transports. Well, I don't need to get rid of them either because my naval force is going ginormously increased now. And Castile's colonizing two provinces, but Castile's not nearly as crazy as. Um, is, is, is not so crazy as Portugal, so we have a lot of time to take that back. But we need to watch this like a hawk. And where is your third colonist? Are you only losing? Are you in two? Yeah, keep him. Repair tank? Yeah, we can get many repair tanks. It's fine. 
I mean, I am 10 boats over the limit. Maybe get rid of some of these barks. And maybe some of the heavies, too. I quite simply have too many. Yeah, we're losing a lot of money right now because uh, of this. Yeah, honestly, I should just keep this war up forever. And keep stealing all their colonies. Because right now, I'm effectively using... Uh, also, my guy died. Right now, I'm effectively using... Um, 2 plus 3 plus 2. I'm using 7 colonists. I like. Isn't this super expensive? Only if I... Only if I'm stupid about it. But yeah, that was super expensive for a little bit, but in the long term... Uh, long... Long term, it's really good. Ah, we gotta go occupy this now. Uh, well, yeah, if I let them have CNs, but then I then I won't grow myself anymore. So. Yeah. Three guesses where he's gonna go. Is my navy fully repaired? Yeah, it is. Good. Also, the Pope would hate me for it. Yeah, he would. He would. 30% worse chrono as well, and Castile and England are about to leave. Ha, 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 ha. But why would I peace out Castile when he's when it's going so well? I need the uh, admin tech eight to build. No, no, don't do that. I want to fix my Republican tradition, dude. There you go. Okay. And yeah, let's uh, speed fight. We don't have to pay for the army anymore. Almost making money now. Seems good. And uh, we can start a third colonist. Third colony. Somewhere. Uh, maybe in... Guantanamo? Sure. I'll need to send out some guys over there, though. Can you join the middle Brazil colony before it's too late? No, because that one's already finished. Hey, Yakimo is done, so we can do Barasoa. The war for the Caribbean, ladies and gentlemen. It'll all be mine! Arr! Arr! Shiver me timbers, we just unlocked shipyards! Shipyards! <laughs> Good. What I need most is to pay off the debt so I can start building count court houses. Okay, Antigua is done, so we can go call as this. And there's no point going over the colony limits. No, I don't think. See, this! This is what I wanted to achieve yesterday. But. <laughs> England wants to peace out. What do we say, chat? Do we peace out the English? Do we let them off the hook? Yay? You're saying yay for that? I'm thinking, I'm thinking if England's a low, maybe we should sail into the Thames River and see how London Bridge is doing, huh? How about them apples? Did you find the, uh, WT bug? 
the W team. Oh, the war tax. Yeah, someone told me about it. It's great. Extra mil. I think this should be working as intended. This is, this is beautiful. <laughs> All right, how is this doing? Eight on the one. What's the bug? All right, so look at how much mill I make, right? Without war taxes, I make three. With war taxes, I make five. And it actually applies, so it's gonna say 313. There you go. Hey, I'm on top of London. That's 9% war score. That 9% is not quite good enough for me. I'd like a little bit more! When will you leave? On the 10th. So on the 9th... We fuck ourselves dramatically. But I got a 13 more score, so we can piece you out. No, I don't want your trade power, I won't war it. Darrrr! Pleasure doing business! <laughs> Alright. Um... What's that? That's fine. Ah, we'll, we'll live. Hey, what's he gonna do? And if we don't, then we don't. Such is the pirate way. Why can I retreat? 20th. You'll live. How's this doing? 815. Oh, fuck, it's the 21st. I could have retreated like four, four days ago. I'll rip. I wanna lose my galleys anyway. I'm making the money, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that! I'm making 3.64. And the best part is, I should be losing lots of Crownland if I were to conquer land, but I'm not conquering it. I'm just... appropriating colonies, so my crown has staying stable. We're doing so much winning! I'm, I'm getting a little tired of winning. So Castile wants to peace out. But I think we should steal these two colonies as well. Yes. Have I heard anything about my participation at the Grandest Land? Yes! I'll be commentating it! Can't wait! Alright, we gotta... We, we gotta wait one more month and then we gotta join this. Castilians are lazy. Uh, well, they've been... They've, they've done things. They're not colonizing as fast as the Portuguese, that's for damn sure. But, you know, I mean... Portugal's definitely employee of the month. Uh, let's put it like that. But, that doesn't mean to say that we should just fire, fire Spain. I mean, they're still colonizing for us. They're trying, alright? Oh shit, I'm dying. No, I'm not. I'm fine. Thought this one was without allies. What? Uh, do you see any allies? <laughs> These guys are not allies. They're employees. They're, sh they're shipmates. <laughs> Ooh, and Norte Norte Portugal's trying even harder because we told him he was employee of the month. Kek W! Alright. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. I'm getting so much freaking land, and every single colony that finishes gets the plus three. <laughs> oh my god, so much land. This is crazy. I'm gonna be a great power after this war. Isn't my blockading showing settler growth? Oh, is it? 
No. Den of Banners. Den of Banners. That should totally be a thing. Is Big Boss still here? It's very minor, but... It should totally stop the spread, though, right? If you think about it. Hey, Marion's done. Guantanamo natives are attacked. Oh my god, they know how to fight. Shit, pay for our troops. Only for a little bit. Yeah, so I'm really not so sure if I should ever peace out. Cause I want some more marines. Look at my force. We're at 29. I'm t All right. Are we going to be a great power by the end of this war, ladies and gentlemen? I think we are. Because this is... Let me tell you, this is a lot of fucking development. Yeah, for glory, gold, and gold. Let's go. Golf cap is dying? Eh, it's there. It's alive. Isn't the next one the thing? I'm gonna pick Black Market Consortium. Or do we do War Against the World? Great Britain took Expo to apply for the job? <laughs> You're hired! <laughs> Welcome! Welcome aboard! <laughs> Come along now! <laughs> yeah, oh shit, this is great! <laughs> we got to do all the work! He gets to take call on everything! <laughs> I already pieced him out, but he's only got Expo. I think he needs. I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna get over here. Okay, so the, okay, here's the thought process, right? So, war against the world doctrine gives you a global CB. That's really, really, really good. Black market consortium gives you really good shit because it allows me. To make TCs. I'm not sure if it's going to increase the state governing cost even more though, because then I don't want this. Nah, let's go for war against the world. Let's go for war against the world, it's fine. Yeah, we're going for war against the world. You can TC- no, but what I can do, and this land is at this point no longer valuable, so Denmark is getting destated. And so is our former capital, Gotland. I will exploit the development though. And I'll also do it here because it hasn't updated yet. Pretty sure. So Gotland, bye bye, but we're leaving. This weather sucks. And I'm going to exploit this stupid development too. Give it to bring it to Trinidad. And now we are going to TC this instead. Oh shit, did that remove the expand infrastructure or is it still here? It's still here, let's revoke that. Yeah, now we have got a lot more room in the Caribbean. Yeah, I feel like I should steal something from Castile, but I'm not sure what. Like, I'd like to yoink one of his uh, colonies, but... Yeah, sure, I mean, we're already in death anyway. What the fuck does it matter? Oh, crap, no! Oh, no. Oh. Huh. Don't want any Portuguese on my island. Right, let's send it. Ah! Oh, right, yeah. That scared me there for a second, and then it unscared me. <laughs> no. 
Yeah, that's right. Portugal, send it to Huagui. <laughs> Once he stops colonizing the Caribbean, we'll start to end the war, I think, but... I mean, not before then. He's doing a wonderful job. Uh, you don't need to pay for the army. Yeah. Interest is now almost my biggest expense. It's still colonies. What's this about rebels? Peasants. What? Peasants. Okay. Peasants. What? Huh? In Marion? What's in Marion? Do we get separatism here? Oh. And they used to want peasants? Oh. Well, I guess we'll have to pay for our army then. Huh. You don't say. Uh, how's uh, Spain doing? Yeah, we can wait. Getting so much admin from that too. It's very hot. Are you going to flip Porto for that sweet marine? No, no, no. And then you spawn in Jamaica? Jesus Christ. Shit, are these peasants gonna beat my ass? Uh, who wants to be my leader? Then you just take their money, right? Uh, no. Bawo. I'm not gonna take their money. I'm gonna take their islands so I can get into the Mediterranean. Wait, what? Absolute Reichstabilität. Was is das denn? Huh. Oh well, these peasants suck. Oh shit. Am I letting him colonize? No, we're fine. Yeah, use the, use the transport ships, that's fine. Uh, I finished another one of my colonies, so we can go colonize some more over here. I might want to colonize a little bit further away, so Portugal still has provinces to colonize. Oh, actually, let's not do that one yet. There's no need to go over the limit. Two lazy co You kidding me about the two lazy colonists shit? <laughs> I just finished the colonies. <laughs> you think I'm not colonizing fast enough? Seem to be filthy rich already. I'm not filthy rich. I'm just rich enough to pay for this. But I'm still in debt. That our real richness isn't going to happen until later. Sitting at 817, so I'm gonna give that another 10 months. 861, five months, and then we yoink these two. One, two, Ooh! you dare finish now don't you dare no 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 calculated <laughs> skill pure skill take that victor <laughs> 
Alright. <laughs> I just got reminded of the victory thing. Alright. <laughs> Evidence for pre recorded. Uh, these are still slower. It's gonna finish Portuguese. No, it's not. No, it's not. What are you talking about, silly goose? <laughs> we can wait with this one. Hello, Sweden. I right, pay for this. Uh, uh, I'll grab it now. Send him out there. Uh, then we can also send him back over here. How's this doing? 901. 820. I don't know why the smugglers keep going in power. But need to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah, I can only make this back up. Trading in sugar now. Very nice. 847. So we got a couple more months there. Man, this is barely growing. Huh. Oh, yeah, I should get my troops off of that so he colonizes this. Uh, nine, six, wow, he's actually barely growing. It's crazy. Hey, Portugal, uh, what are you colonizing, buddy? You're not wanting to send the guys over here, are you sure? You're gonna stop playing? Now we gotta move out. Hey Portugal, what's up, dude? Buddy, bro? Portugal, uh... This is not... This is not what I'm... This is not what we expect from you, okay? Used to be employee of the month, you know? What's up with that? Hey! Portugal, hey! Buddy. What's up with that? You out of money or something? Don't wanna don't wanna keep colonizing? doesn't appear so all right well in that case he's probably in Africa so uh, in that case we'll start to finish off the war I do want to make sure that the entire Caribbean is mine though I really do not want him to touch this whatsoever so Maryland no now the shit's all mine all right we'll do war against the world Oh shit, I completely forgot about Castile. Oh! Woof! I tend to lower that colony maintenance. You're already Swedish, right? Yeah, I'm Swedish. Let's get you out. You don't need to lower this much, just half is fine. And then we should probably yoink that as well. Wait, I said half is fine. There you go. Did you arrive yet? 20 days. Alright, make these Swedish, please. Fahon. 
uh, recall you and send you over to this. And I'll be good. It's all Swedish now. <laughs> Trading in coffee. Seems good. Can't believe we don't have colonialism yet. Isn't that crazy? Wait, do we not have that, actually? Is it growing in my land? In any no, it's not. Why would, it, why would it be growing? Maybe I can get the event to grow it, but... Oh look, Flory's playing Portugal. <laughs> hey! Yeah, that's fine. We can do Havana now. Milk is still in col Yeah, that's not a colony. That's just a province. I'd like to steal it from him, but... That's gonna be quite difficult indeed. Alright, let's color this in, so it looks nice. I don't think Portugal's colonizing anymore. Yes, yeah, so now I have three colonies, it's fine. And now we can slowly start to pay off the debt. Uh Fuck a duck in its penis? I think we're alright. Yeah, we're fine. I'm so glad I took I, I made the choice to build those heavies. Man, that that was so important. Uh, also, we can raid? How do you know that Call for Peace? You can't get Call for Peace unless you have over 60% war score. What is it, 69% war score or something like that? You missed one? Yeah, that's the beautiful thing about the rating map mode. I can just check it after we're done. What's the exact number, anyway? Is it like 67? Is it like two-thirds or some shit? And it also helps that we're getting, um... How much money am I getting from England? Only three? Man, this is kinda odd. Yeah, I missed one in Poland. It's that's right. 65 or 67? Yeah, nobody knows. I'm sure there's people that know. But... Okay, cool. Got that? Yeah. And go repair you again. And I'll get uh, one cog out, so the game will pause if they start to move in. But we'll have time to actually kill it. Uh, the main fleet is fully repaired. We can also upgrade these bolts now. I don't have enough money for that. I don't need to, because they've got outdated boats themselves, so... I think we're fine. Also, there's, uh, these... Uh, St. Kitts and St. Martin that they didn't colonize. But yeah, like I said, he's not, he's not fighting back, so... Is he an African colony? No, I can't. I mean, I could maybe if I... If I knew he was there, I can try stealing some maps. Also, Castile's not colonizing either. Maybe they, maybe they ran out of money or something. <laughs> I'm laughing my ass off. The truce is over with England. <laughs> All right, Portugal. Uh, I'd like a map of the South Atlantic. Right? Yeah. And then I'd like a map of, like, South Africa. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong person. No! 
So we know he's not there, so he must be in Guinea then. Stop privateering. Can you go explore? Whatever this is. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I don't want to stop stealing colonies if I don't have to. Oh, look at that sexy money we're making, man. Oh my god, yes. How big is the debt? A thousand ducats, but it's well worth it. He's at war with France? What? Oh my god, Castile's at war with France now! Oh, this monster Fra Whoa, whoa, France! What are you doing? Oh, 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 qu'est-ce que tu fais? This guy has no chill! Okay then! What a, what a beast! Holy fuck! I think I might need an adult. <laughs> I think I think I might need an adult because, um, well, you see, the thing is, they need to occupy London, but seeing as how they've already sieged down this and all of Ireland, and Castile's dying, and Portugal's dying. France is gonna get the union over England. He's going full world conquest ideas, ladies and gentlemen. Qu'est-ce que tu fucking fais, Louis? Huh? What, what is that on? Love this game. We can do reviews now, right? I have to say, I've had, I've had so much fucking fun today. This, this is good. This is good. I don't think I've had more fun with uh, the EU forces freaking 1.31. Like, this is really nice. Did you find an adult? I am an adult. <laughs> Yeah, really happy. I really want to keep going, guys, but... Eh. I kind of got neighbors and everything. And also... <laughs> getting a little tired. Silver55, thank you for something, man. Tip matter to you, sir. What was so fun on 1.31? It's just that... In my opinion... 1.33... 1.32 was also great, actually. 1.32 was also really great. Actually, 1.32 was uh, amazing, but I really honestly didn't quite like 1.33. The combat and everything. 
bit. This, this has been a lot of fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm gonna be leaving you guys with this for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out exclamation mark lions. Check out E4. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. And uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I might be back tomorrow. Now I know tomorrow is a Wednesday, but I have some IRL stuff I need to take care of tomorrow because it's a Wednesday. Um, so I might stream. I might not. If I stream, it's gonna be at 1 p.m. because I got some stuff to do, and I don't generally wake up early, so I, I hope to be here at 1 p.m. So we can keep... Oh, this is a funny noise. So we can keep going. Uh, is it worth picking up Leviathan? Yeah. So I think I think Leviathan gets a bat rap for the patch it was in. That is my honest opinion. Okay, so I think Leviathan is, is great. There. I think the features are awesome. I really like the great projects. I really like the Leviathan mission trees. And uh, concentrate development gives you a whole bunch of utility. You can use it to integrate vassals, you can use it to grow your capital, you can use it to do many things. So honestly, I like it, but the patch was absolute dog shit, and that happens a lot. Dharma, for example, Dharma has uh, very shitty reviews, but it was great. Like everything Dharma adds is great, but. I don't know. Uh, it's weird, weird how stuff like that works. But yeah. Am I sucking pair of dicks? No. No, today's isn't today is not even sponsored. So But, but, stipulation, I see a button, I press like. I'm also incredibly biased because I got 35k hours. I really like this game. I don't know what to tell you. And I said I didn't like the previous patch. That I absolutely abhorred the combat. I say what I think. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, have a good one. And I'll see you guys again maybe tomorrow. Otherwise, Thursday at 11 Central European Summertime. Alright, bye-bye guys. Have a good one. What do you think of the Norse event being 100 years MTTH? So the Norse event is only 100 years MTTH if you just own Bergslagen. Now, and and you uh, declare a, sti a state in declare restraint and declare restraint. What the fuck is it called? Declare statute and restraint of appeals. If you get excommunicated and you have full religious ideas, and that's the campaign after this, by the way. Although we might be able to spawn it in this campaign, and we're gonna spawn it using Carib. Hey, where did Carib go? Fuck, they migrated from the coast. Shut right, We'll have to somehow push him back to the coast. God damn it. Get back here. Yeah, whatever. Now you're gonna find someone else. I can use the Arawak. Yeah, that's fine. But. Norse event is also Age of Discovery only. Yes. But. What if I told you there was also a way to get it in the Age of Reformation? Have a good one, guys, and I'll see you guys. I bet he was lying about the Norse stuff. What? No, I'm not. Hold on, I can fire the event for you. I can do it. No, I, there's no point doing it in a console, right? You can do it in a console, I can fire the event. You can pass all the requirements, but. Doing that on stream without a million birds is, uh, that one is. I mean, 100 years at the age is so long. You can make a 50 by getting religious, but I don't like getting religious. I mean, you'd want religious anyway. But I think the best way to spawn it for yourself, if you want to go down that route, is indeed go Sweden, make sure you have a 555. I'm really, I'm, I'm really leaving, by the way. So, uh, have a good one. See you guys maybe tomorrow, otherwise Thursday. Bye-bye, guys! Also, check out my Discord. Join my Discord. Join the Discord. Join, join the fucking Discord. You know my Discord? My Discord's amazing, right? My Discord, you get shoutouts, right? And I will, I will randomly say things in the middle of the night after I'm done with work. And also, uh, we have a channel. We have a channel in our Discord. 
where you can give suggestions directly to uh, Paradox developers. And you can talk to them. And you can give them feedback and all that. It's a very cool channel. It's a cool channel. It's called EU4 Suggestions. Paradox Big Boss is in there. And Comrade Flat. Yeah. It's on my Discord. Look at me. I'm Mr. Fancy Pants. I've got Paradox Dev. I've got Paradox Dev. Join my Discord. Alright, bye guys.